to the Ghana Criminal Investigations Department. Tomorrow, lawyer Efrifa and um, the person who reported him to the General Legal Council will be appearing before the General Legal Council. What is going to happen tomorrow? I am going to tell you what is going to happen tomorrow. This is not a prophecy. These are facts. I'll let you know what is going to happen tomorrow by the end of the day. Um, is the case going to be heard tomorrow? Is the lawyer going to make it to um, the General Legal Council office? Um, what are the technicalities? Some people are making sure they push away, go against um, the the laws which has been set for um, the General Legal Council to follow. These are very, very important issues we need to discuss today. I'll be doing this in key and English, making sure every single person understands what will transpire tomorrow. Here, we speak truth to power. If you have not told a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend that Kevin Taylor and the ghost team are here today, we're going to be um, talking about what is going to happen tomorrow. Remember, lawyer Christy Efrifa will be appearing before the General Legal Council tomorrow. Um, I don't know about the chief, but I think the chief too will be appearing. Um, something is going to happen tomorrow. I'll take my time, take you through the process for you to know who is manipulating the system to make sure things go their way. You know, here we speak with facts. Me patro ni mbre osha mi abi din a ya do me ya to me e ya Kevin e ko be retail am ya Lebanese ni mi Ghana ni mi Togoni e na Messiah America ni inti de bia obi afre me the black Lebanese. E ni mbre show we a uti e ya amanyosem e ni abrabo munsem ye ni edi Ghana amanyosem echi e no e na ye bon ho de wuro kese ana se ye ni jina so pa. Inti osha be ni mbre ya ni mbre show we de e twagu e wo platform be bre so ana se e ye broni be fre no internet e na ye nso e ka se be ka se e ye uh, in ten times, so uh, I brought for a, 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 a internet. The brought for the I, a dear dear in ten times. Aha, uh-huh. over social live. I bet my share live. Oh, loud silence TV. So our oh, multi TV. So our oh, multi TV decoder. I oh, searching for loud silence TV. Uh, on sa ebe kaye a share show we live. Also our Facebook, I'll be to be we live and I'll be to my share live. Oh, with all due respect, page any loud silence TV page. Maybe I will YouTube. Account and that's all best social YouTube. So YouTube, they'll be my channel TV soon to be our computer. So and also okay, YouTube are searching for loud silence TV. On sa ever can you loud silence TV? So uh YouTube. So into your hardy, you rabbi be a baby be a Michia Nana Adam Kweku Fuado, the president of the Republic of Ghana. Mini Sana Oshame. Abozege, also Michiao, we make up artists in Michiao. Madam Rebecca, Wakuma Ben, Wakuma Ben Yabu tre Nanipa and about to me. Also Michia when you bring Michia, His Excellency, former President John Ajikum Kufuo, Mr. Kufu. I mean, show you bring Jai, sir. Hypocrisy, no, that kind of creature to me. And check, no, trade the important and suffer. Your papa, then you're coping in home mobile. Beside it, yeah, His Excellency, former President John Dramani Mahama and his wife, and also say hello to President Kofor's wife. I'd like to say good evening to all the chiefs and queens in Ghana. Elders, people who say they are uh, there to, in fact, when things um, go out of hand or go out of um, our range, they will be the people we'll be relying on to speak on the issues for every single nerve to become. So I'd like to say good evening to all the members of Christian Council, members of um, Peace Council, members of um, Muslim Council, members of the Pentecostal DNDN, Michia Munyana Nyumbri, where Unim say, Sebio, ye di eniato, so sawe sofo, o ye imam, o ye pinyini a, Sebio, I was saying, we didn't cry, we didn't cry, and Yankopon will deal with you. It's a fact. You know, you say, as I see it, just one your papa, Yankopon, a betrim was on. I'm also want to. I also want to say good evening to members of Aglo. Wow, Oka Aglo, who be ano nyame embo who buy say who didn't cry. Oh, our brabuma. Say now Oka Aglo leadership no. Aglo leadership no. Now say in some Oka no. Be four years ago na and the way we now pursue the can. Yankopon. Trade and conyanko trade and ponyanko ponu Sebio nyanko pon de on pet ni pabonini. On pet in sequoni. On pet hypocrite. On pet siku fans. O nyame a better one kwadaso. We de a ya de principle. En yame en na mishe shaye. O komo bible numa e wom. In tisoye gande ni nasa watu wa ye hili lelabas. Lili lelabas. Ene kurabasu. Kurabasu. Bede sa aton se kram tina mi yamashimi. Wamu tu bibo ton sa. Ma amino tu bika osi ya in kurabasu. Kurabasu. Hili lelabas. Kurabasu. Kurabasu. Udim kurabasu. Muni pe nyabu tira wa muhuwa. Saha ma amifuwe we yon. Saha aglo fuwe we. Muti mi buttons na namo de kurabaso. Wini mu kurabaso. Chesa wopeswa chire se. Paya da obo de eh, kwa kurabaso. Kurabaso. Ili lalabas. Kurabaso. Mungu kano kure. Mungu aglo fuwe no. Nyanku po bitu ya muka. Especially leaders no. Ye ma amenomini ya antis na na mo convince yo wa mbujyo musike dino. Omu diya mimblemi omu. Sebi yo religion. 
ena ama asimbi ya kwedi bwane. Omu de sebi yo nyami woho ya, nyanko pwane ni paka sey, ebedu swan pwane bi, omu be huse, diye na omu diye chino, eye inse kuku, eye beifo kuku, eye kubia, nipa na omu diyo mwini mwamon kano kre. Inti mima amene mwini aunties, omu gana, omu joini, um, uh, 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 agloa, sebi yo no mwini mdiye kondye, me, mini omu ni asimbi ya, na impinifuwa no omu diye ni mwono, da dine sa abe ifo anketi nketi nom, omu, ena mikase muhele lela labasa no, ene mo kura baso no, ebe bomu triso, kura baso. Tawon se bena kote kura basu wum. Wati tawon kumpon. Ja, ja oko wa baibu. Ruko wunga kura basu wa baibu mu. Unim kura ba. Kura ba. Kura ba e chemba pot. Ena so. E e chemba pot. Ne so no. Inti wopaswa so, chile se. Tawon se na obo no kura basu. E di e ya be yiko. Tawon se no no. <laughs> Today is a Wednesday. Thank you very much. Um, hele lala bas kura basu. E jak. E nyan na. E nyan bad name wu. Hele lala bas. Lele lala bas kura basu. Lele lala bas kura basu. Uh, lele lalabas and sons. Ana ut uto taxi yame tuma chulegu wichi. Lele lalabas kura baso. Jase, lele lalabas kura baso. Nse mhunu na moti gala hona mudi. Yabe be tumo honomo. Alright, thank you very much. Um, <laughs> and the DNC, and the NSMP, it's this one gana. Awe shebe nyumbria. And the yabe cheche nse, yabe bigwa nse. When my producer sent me um what we're going to be tackling today, and we being on phone and talking, a, a lot, a lot of things, masa. And then we'll be rushing through things because Topic red hand and a very very sensitive and important because Ochna and I a lawyer if you eku eku share um the general legal counsel DNAC their plans and so me be church in your son a bear Ochna a seer and your gun and you be on one a crony a timino nippan can a cray oko chichi and your nippy over to the near tunnels oko chichi is only in pay a can a yanana ado danko kufado or your oko ocean a bono jina hot with a bema beni a bubra no maba in tea nana a oko and oko so why so many things are also tia see a to me engine indeed um let me say hello to a few people raf sally was watching me right now on youtube i can see attack bamfo also here kuliman says no bagawaya thank you very much kuliman lord lms is also watching me right now um anas ibrahim anankwa anakwa is also here sadiq muhammad is watching me right now good evening sm wherever you are this evening kwansma you are the best thank you very much for tuning in hadja diamond is watching me right now thank you very much Ogatu T is watching kevin taylor in the ghost team i can also see nana jan chris watching me right now i can see so many people on youtube um cosmos robinson is here queen Nat diamond is live on youtube thomas is live on youtube frank nero is live on facebook vincent hundi is watching Kevin Taylor and it goes team. I can also see Iron Nat Kofu yeah, is also watching me right now. Janet Sewa Boatin is watching Kevin Taylor and it goes team. Brooklyn Bafo Iwa is live on Loud Silence TV. I can see Doji. I can see Ike. I can see Raf. I can see Emmanuel Achia Palago. And I, I hope I got it right. Emmanuel, uh, oh, he's gone. Sorry, I don't know. Um, Buntala Munkaila is also here. Francis Aida and his family. Queen Na Diamond is watching me right now. I can see Mama C, Isaac, Kenji. I can see Doji Ibrahim, Adolfo Elvis. So many ladies here today. I need to bring up my ladies' voice tonight because a man show up there. Not just a voice, no. I don't need KKD voice. Someone with KKD voice. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we here this evening. It's a man show up there. We have the KKD voice. In Timbano, yeah, bomb bani dia. Yeah, the KKD voice in the bebo. In bani message in the crevice me ready. By in bani mani dia bone to bone. Obua. So I'm basically bone dia kwashata all of you. Oni bebo din. I had the bone din. Yeah, bebo din. But yeah, far a KKD voice in bone din. In two and three years, boga koku koku. Me see. You have a bomb in the dean, but I didn't have a bar. You had the KKD voice, the bebo. I, ladies and gentlemen. And Berman didn't have a bomb in the dean, you want to ask you. I can see Sechimante. Sechimante is watching us. Kwabna Fred is also here. Uh, Lauren, Laurentia is watching me right now. Thank you very much, Laurentia, for being here this evening. Um, Alice Barr is also live here on Loud Silence TV. Um, Amezo, Emmanuel, Amezo, I want to need Amezo, Emmanuel. Tonho, I want to need Amezo, Also, Tonho, Pell, a flak week. Pell, how are you doing this evening, Pell? Have a wonderful evening wherever you are. Um, I can also see Doti. I can see Cosmo. I can see Jennifer Ajua. Um, AC. Jennifer, lovely evening wherever you are. Mm. Thank you, Jennifer, for being here this evening. Um, I can also see um Atta Julius. Atta Julius. We didn't know Atta Julius. I can see you. Many time for uh, nice nights. Uh, who else is here? Uh, Amida. Mohammed, I mean, then I don't know. Say, hey, your bow, say, Bemo. I mean, that Mohammed, let me keep it cool. Uh, who else is here? In Banadin, you have a woman I did. Oh, yeah, Bemo, not must have a frame there. Wow, like Habiba, Mohammed, Habiba. How are you doing this evening, Habiba? Let's link up, Habiba. 
Thank you very much for watching me. Um, Mamiya is also here watching Kevin Taylor and the Ghost Team. Um, Florence Ama Ama is also here watching me. Florence, have a wonderful evening. Thank you for tuning into Loud Silence TV. I can also see Vic watching me right now. Uh, Anthony Suwaha, Anthony, I, Anthony, Nye, I, um, Hakim Uswababi, uh, Gladys, um, Fasamche is here. Gladys Fasamche, wonderful name, Gladys Fasamche. All right, I can also see Jeff. Jeff was on the Namha, uh, Kadoso, and so dear, dear, so in them, Quisi Ahin, dear, dear, Senna, uh, Eric Otu, the dear was to say, was say, was say, show no, and Yakubu, yeah, Pemba, dear boss, Yakubu, Yakubu for the way, move, 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 Yakubu, Pini, near Guedim, Yakubu, move, uh, I can also see charity, Pukua, charity, and I say, oh, gonna come from charity, that be a charity, Pukua, you're also live here, thank you very much, charity, uh, have a wonderful evening, Yao Gideon, yeah, Kasa would free bread job, was saying, Fabishim, Yao Gideon, anytime, all right, I took him and I'm going to find you, I took him day, Pedro Kulibinezi, Naiko, and then they are took him and I took air bomb, and I took him and I, uh, Kabana Kamuzu, Kabana Kamuzu, Bra Fe Kan. Uh, ABIBS, Mr. Buachino, I, uh, Adiza 2, Adiza 2, Idrisu. Adiza 2, Idrisu. Good evening, Adiza. All right, who else is here? Yeah, yeah, fast, fast. Embani, you ever come and I, uh, you don't cook a cranny and question, Barnaby. Embani, you here, your dog boys, boys, you're the man. I don't know, you know, you phrase here. Messi, your dog boys, boys, you're the man. I, Messi, a man, your dog boys, boys, you know, you know, you Kone tu omu jimi omu ho, koko kwa shawo, oh haye deni. Mese kone tu, ene matese na naba na mwa, oye kunkumba jia, e choa anka wase ubiti se, e zailo, e yefene se, akwano ye video, koku menu mo ne, interview sa koku menu mo beye ne, roni is everywhere, ne sa anko fo, nanaba na mwa ji, yeso oye, a a a bozigi your friend is saying sa ba me your friend is saying oh yeah a bozigi interview hey bolare you are warned maintain maintain this is not a unquenched TV GH1 people have invested money in it a lot nana ba na mwe in some new ada in some new ada yes yes you bring one interview a bozigi in some you bring one garden a bozigi na onya a friend so a superstar was at the end the end na mwe ya the sano eh in some new ada mame. Yeah, I'm forced to say by interview. In some new world, all right, Sadik. So, eh, show me. In your brain, Christopher, the end, the end. Uh, in Bani, the member by five there. Now, it's the show. Now, she shows. So, we drop. In the end, your day. In the end, pong. She. What about it? What about it? But so, oh, what about just a poly tank? We drop. The boy who are holding on, you know, but so what about what about just what about just a poly tank? I, on a manu kung kung. I N P P four more. But so what about just a poly tank? What catch it, Nana? I. Oh yes, wow! You remember the man best said that he could fuado. We jah. Hey, Eric, what you saw? Ba Thomas, ba Ryan, I could busu jine muaha. I girls in mihu amubiyem. Na girls in wey. Ma me checki girls in na me mbo be three bidin yon ku enim. And Kevin dey embassem. Hey, and a Kevin dey embassem. Oba no bobo girls ding yon mu dey ed branchi away si so. Hey, ko ba ibu ni Solomon, Solomon, King Solomon. Nyaku pondo ba no no. I'm. Obi tuwa di matem abwe we nimkwe tia imasem na di adi me say Bible no kofa Bible de brother mitro King Solomon na ni girlfriend yes seven hundred na odanya kupo akuma so oh how they say unhinim yes say di obeka ni yebeti na kibeti asanga yenruha ay tamani enum garano na uutu yafu yenya yenya ya satanda na obetu mifu mi hiya ufu tuwa bisrewa tamani maswa yeshono when tu mifu masatanda na obetu mifu dabi debi amedi aswa shere befa mabu mabraba when ya papa unhinim me say Kevin, the only girls in Robert Sano Bob Bombardi, boy, we, I'm Felicia Nyano. How are you watching? How are you doing this evening, Felicia? Have a wonderful evening wherever you are. I can also see uh, Muslia, uh, I don't know whether it's a, a, a lady or a guy. Jennifer Ajoa AC is back again. Jennifer, lovely, lovely, lovely night wherever you are tonight. It's a, it's a, it's a wonderful Wednesday. Uh, just get some um, um, something nice, relax, and watch Kevin Taylor on Loud Silence TV. Yeah, we got and I can guess now. Boy, would you jam? Miss Moko for Solomon, bra Solomon, time at all by Bunun. Solomon, no cashew. What is a Solomon? No, it's you shine. Solomon, and is the girls here 700. Now, you're not going to put it. Oh, we need him. All right, thank you very much. We are here. This is with all the stress and the show. Wow, baby, are you ready? If you are ready, let's heat up for 20 seconds and then take care of business.
thank you very much for staying on your question to know about her new brain i said you why do you need a juma into now her new brain let's take care of business uh, this evening um social media segment quick 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 and there are some videos we there are some things we need to react to um a few things we are we need to react to until we will react to them very very quickly um photos we saw we need to take care of those photos uh, i said missing there um what's the um this document is out uh i feel be who um they are not professor now now upoku ajima aircraft for some time say it is very very bad for a government to pick up money and go buy pasco for kids and there uh, it has become clear i'm a i'm a for a document about this is how much a kufu ado spent on a poor for our kids so omuye ss number a kufu ado graduates this is the kind of president we have today and internet last time i was telling the current education minister sir on kananun tum or no or a studies teacher ewa California or nim anything about education. When Professor Nano Pokwajman speaks, on shut up, no on tea, no on fam one bra, no on fam wa. Na on yai sa kofi broke man for English na or denam Ghana no. He knows nothing about Ghana, Ghana, Ghana education. He knows nothing about how it started and Bibia Eduno. He has no idea about Bibianko Foko Pace Kabi C free senior high school, sa schools no e blocks no, only idea. Sa time an uncle for AC e blocks na na opokwajima a year education minister na yesi e blocks no no or to California or Ron Colato. Na or your classes, na or your propaganda. It is waba is to shut up, listen to advice. Enna and abe da hono. You see, a baya it is a better than Koranika said and I could for a belle. Mukai say SS in Korano, or Mumma mu fik a poa at the end of the day in Korano into me and try exams. So Mekai is a president ye took belle. The kids said it because the president, you know, he has set some precedents here. Say, I'm saying here, so I could cry away every power, no, not your country, no, education system, no, a jungle is it. No, I say no, because he doesn't care. Now, this is what we are all seeing. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, to help prepare the final year's senior high school students for the 2021 West African Senior High, uh, West African Senior School Certificate Examination, that is WASI. The ministry has procured 446,954 uh, past questions, past questions for uh, from Masir's whatever kingdom, I think is the publishing, um, kingdom books and stationery at a unit price of 78 Ghana cities. The procurement will be funded from the free senior high school Account your thumb sicker 446,000 Ghana cities. Old Ghana cities, no, we are talking about how much four billion and over, right? Say, you're the top Pasco, Ama, senior high school for say, Omon Cotro, and I school on with Timono. I didn't know more school because you know, say, contact hours, no, it wasn't there. In the Encorano, automatically they will fail. In the Abai Atam, taxpayers' money, and also made the top Pasco. Na me diama en Korano, na en Korano edi ya to a po aman Korano, so atam almost 500,000 Ghana cities se. O de koto a po ama Ghana students a omoko tro wasi. This is where we are. And as we speak, somebody like Professor Adai has not seen anything wrong with this. Me see Sampin for me wu, if we are kete kete kete, na mo jafri omu trim, nyanko pombe kuomo, because they are evil. Professor a die, that Mr. A die, criminal man, and now on your professor, and also a professor. He's not seen anything wrong with this. Mikai, this evil man, and also Jiari, a criminal. Before election 2020, 200 kilos of cocaine headed by Jiari, no? Where did it pass? God will kill you, you, this old man. Tribal bigot, dirty beard old man. Omutna Ghana, when the NDC administration led by Mahama, they were building e blocks. This old wizard was sitting on Metro TV and uh, uh, multi, uh, Joy News telling Ghanaians to say, Mahama is this school in the Indian Kwasiya. This old man, or on the school Accra, he is charging dollars. Where mono, you inform Mumbu Mayo, they are tribal shitholes. They are tribal bigots. Now, when you go to the second paragraph, he says this, Mr. Speaker, in 2020, government through its efforts to help students Amid COVID-19 to prepare for the 2020 West African Senior School Certificate Examination, procured 568.755 past questions. Why? Are you mad? Like, as you the government had to take money to go procure past questions for the kids. Why? 
the whole world. The whole world. What is say about me? I could just pass questions. I'm angry because of COVID-19. Me say one day, much one. A Rebecca Becca, a good for Becca Chum, a good for Becca Chum say. She see there three seconds one pain because COVID-19. Every single thing in Ghana today is being blamed on COVID-19. Every single nonsense in Ghana today is being blamed on COVID-19. On COVID-19. Be bia idea she COVID-19. Ya koto pasco as says ka taxpayers money. En kran tiom ko school ko e den. En en kemo mun tinefi. Time we buy bedroom mako check exams. Ani omu nyina ba. Ya se monje pasco. I dia ya say unit ba bo mo se book ba ko yam to on 78 Ghana. Old Ghana no 780 Ghana. Omo to book ba ko bia 78 Ghana. O ko school feeding program a. Omo mu nua eduane no man kora no. Ya mo 79 pesos. School feeding program no mo ye no. The caterers na omo nua eduane ma en kora no to eat be well nourished to have that that better um development to be able to absorb what they are teaching them in school no school caterers no your mom 97 or 79 pesos per child 79 or 97 pesos per child now what time this amount of money so called top pass school there are needs there are things that we can use these monies for sometimes it's so difficult to even understand these people you don't get it like it do sometime out with now what you know I was ah. now I need to put a dear so I say Koliko need dear so now the third paragraph says this now let me finish the second paragraph to prepare the 2020 West African Senior School Certificate Examination Wasi procured 568.755 past questions for students to try their hands on just for students to try their hands on before sitting for the actual exams the Ministry of Education contracted Masa Kingdom again this same company Omoto Books no again and uh uh, uh um, Kingdom Books and Stationery to supply 568,788 wasi pass questions at a contract price of 33 million Ghana cities. Round it up 34 million Ghana cities. Hey, this is ridiculous. This is this is insane. That same company got a first deal of 446 no he got a first deal of 78 like at, at okay at the unit now in total no they paid almost four, 34 million ghana cities in total for pasco jesus christ we don't need to continue this nonsense again i'm telling you this is a madness and that person who actually oversaw all this nonsense is now the energy minister. We spent over 34 million Ghana cities on past questions. <laughs> uh, and then they turn around to tell teachers to say, there's no money. You, 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 you shouldn't think, say, being a teacher, no, you, sh- you shouldn't come into that profession thinking you'll be a millionaire. And then Kufa turns around to tell them that. And now what, what top books, almost $34 million, Pasco. Are these people insane? And I say dementia. And that is a curse. Sometimes, eh? I still say I say nyango pan buiku for the dia. And our boss hanko for the dia. I don't get it. Ha, who does that? Eku for is the worst president in our history. Eh, yeah, this is madness. Oh, we are dumb. We are to sebio president. You no know, sebio. He is not okay up here. I'm telling you. Eku for is psychologically not okay. Mentally, he's not stable. I'm being honest here. You spent 34 million on past questions. You were a fucking disaster. You were a waste of everybody's time. In fact, Mahama is 10 times better than you in everything. I am telling you. Mahama is so intelligent. Mahama is so, so, so smart. Mahama is a perfect gentleman to be a president. Somebody who thinks, quit Jimmy. You take 34 million. Ghana cities to go by past question. Wait, Jimmy. And then sit there and get angry. I don't care about your anger. I don't care about Kevin, your wet. Don't watch and walk. Wait, Jimmy. You take 34 million. 34 million. Teachers still fighting for pay rise. Teachers, they've been your baby in that. School blocks, they been school not saying. I just showed you a video of a teacher showing school how much idea with them. Now, into your opinion, your opinion, dear, no, any day. How do you think? John Mahama is far better than this ignorant old man. It's a fact. Ekufuado is daft. 
Wo de tre na ye politics. Ne ka se Kevin yo mu ade. Wo na wo jimi o. Enya mi na mi jimi 34 million Ghana. Do you know what he can do? 34 million Ghana cities just to go by past questions. Are you kidding me? Unless you are insane. And the chase be a what but the messy. Oh yeah. Your people in Nippon will be in Ankara and Achra. They don't even have food. They don't even, they are telling you, give us a little bit of increment. Now you want to toy and you want to be in Ankara and Adi. A day Ankara and Betrimo, they don't have some. In Kura did that dust at the form. Now we eat 34 million Ghana cities in our situation. So, Fakota Pascal, you are a fool to do that. Oh, yeah. Mr. Mipo will be over because I just, as some of kind one can hear, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are, we No, oh, this foolishness. This this is the first story. I'm even depressed. I'm even depressed to continue the show. This is madness. This is madness. This is not something I have to be like, I have to be civil in my language. This is this is crazy. This is a madness. Do you know that? This is foolishness. I don't need to go on. Uh, let's see this. Oh, this is a, a poster my producer sent to Enyame. SRC, Ewo Legon. This is a poster my producer sent. Or say, but say, let this go. Uh, it is the SRC, uh, SRC General Secretary, Hofo 21. She will win. I she will win. <laughs> she will win. I media mimi ni bibiaka. I don't know her. I don't know her message. Who shut down was today? The people's Rebecca. Hey, yes, I friend of Rebecca. She will win. And yes, I friend of uh, and uh, some of her um uh, things down there. Hashtag bringing the info gap and uh, the right choice. She will win. She will win. Mm. If she doesn't win, then they will go for me. Winnie Pop, Winnie Amusha Spares, Ara. She will win. Whether you like it or not, she will win. Me, I don't know her. Producer just added it to it. Me, you didn't say, Derry Rebecca in Wellville. Hey, your guy of Rubia from in Wellville, media in Winville. Hey, bro, hey, now I didn't even go far away. This kind of names, and I don't go far away. Your guy in here, friend, in Winville, in Winville, so in Winville. Hey, bro, for me, we grow fanciful. Derry crying at the brothel dinky to all. And now, yes, I friend Rebecca, I don't cry, I don't cry a big, big punch. And in Winville. Uh, SRC General Secretary, she will win. Maybe I don't know her message. I don't know what she has said. Uh, her policies. Uh, she will win by force, and uh, we will do campaign for her. <laughs> I may see more and more, more competing for this position. You know? Bring your picture. We will post it. I and then we will do uh, public opinion. She will win whether she comes or she does not come. Whether she says it, I don't care about her message. She will win. <laughs> I the other people, the other people can be a car. Solomon Kralan, I don't know. I media just saw it and I'm showing it. <laughs> hey producer, on the ground. She UGSRC General Secretary. Okay, so she wants to be General Secretary, and uh, her name is Derry Rebecca. In Winville, um, General Secretary, hopeful 2021. Um, as you can see there. And so I just want her competitors to also bring um, their pictures, their poster, so that tomorrow, no, I can also show it because it's very uh, fair to give everybody um, equal opportunity. Into where SRC General Secretary has something about them. the more money they compete, you know. I beg tomorrow bring your pictures. Yet near the Nikos Yabe here, or more will compete, you know. Because I just say, you cast away your SRC secretary, 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 who could have filed now. That's our pile of one. We have to be forced to look at you. She will win. I'm Mr. In Winville will win. In Winville will win. In Winville will win. Whether you like it or not. And you want to make a case in the middle later. I shall win. I media and family home. Whether she speaks or she does not speak, she brings it there. Me say she will win. I will ja win him. I what from the amen for I move forward. So this is also um <laughs> I'm reading messages. I hey, I'm on for. 
Uh, she will win. Yes, I have picture in BM. She will win. So if you are around, you are in Legon and you are going to vote for SRC secretary, um, I beg, don't vote yet. Wait. Let the other guys who or other people or other ladies who are competing here know to bring their pictures tomorrow. I want to give everybody after showing all of them their pictures, you know, I will grant them interviews on this platform. Uh but I'm just saying it today. I'll bring when is it happening? Let me know when 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 is the election happening? Say so, uh, yeah. Uh, 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 maybe our next week, yeah, we will see what we can do. We will bring every single one of them to come and tell us I, what the, the, their plans are, their political statements. The nobody has ever um, bring on board. On the say, the people's Rebecca, the people's Rebecca, Rebecca. But no, 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 and uh, bring the info gap on also say information gap and yasaba back into all these people bring yours now. Uh, yeah, 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 interview, yeah, yeah, interview, yeah, I know Rebecca will win. I, uh, with ya, I, Kevin, dear, he's taking sides. I am not, but she will win. <laughs> she will, she will. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> all right, this is also another thing. Goodness, can we tell our bread? Uh, Speaker Alban Bagbin has referred the Ascent Central MP Kennedy on Hine Japan to the Privileges Committee of Parliament for instigating attacks against Joy News reporter Erastus Asaridonko. The directive issued by the Speaker on Wednesday will enable the House to decide if the actions of Mr. E. Japan breached the orders of Parliament and, if so, recommend appropriate action, sanctions. Sorry. You see, this guy has been to the, uh, w uh, w w how do they call it? Um, I'm trying to find that place. If I was saying, uh, privileges committee a couple of times because of his bad behavior, because of, say, or you need to be a, say, be you know, and privileges committee that? What could you do? You want to tell me, I'm So I don't see, say, MPs, we got to Emma Jimini way. They will sanction him and say he should leave Parliament. They can't. It's a waste. Where a drama? Where a concert? Jimini way by privileges committee a few uh, years ago. What did you What happened? You were sitting there for this guy to fool. Muntaka at, approached him, asked him questions. He was insulting Muntaka. Everybody allowed this fool to walk away. Yasab by the same place, square one. This idiot should go again to privileges committee. If Alban Bagbin and the Majesty Oka say. He does not have the power to sanction Kennedy. But see, you have the power to tell this guy to leave your parliament. On Pesa will be here because on cannot create Alban Bagbin. And I heard he was saying, he said, this is the first time he's hearing say, Kennedy, Ako can't say we have for general. So you are a liar, Alban. You are a liar. You know. You know this thief, this madman has been doing this for long. Why, yes, sir, the Ku Ahmed Swale, he did it. Why, yes, sir, the end of you are saying you should go to privileges committee to do what? This guy is a killer. This guy does not deserve to be in our parliament. This particular topic, say Anka Manfamba platform we so and criticize all these people and Kobi Anka Wansem. Kennedy would have gone under dark and killed Erastus. Still, cry Erastus is not free. He can still kill him. Mesinki Ambetnaha Anka Sasem we are Anka Kennedy Okuni Dadada. And now, Mwasasi and Sanko Privileges Committee, what did this fool do there the last time you took him there? What did this fool do there? He went there to exhibit some kind of arrogance, stupidity, and foolishness. And at the same MP sat there and said, Kennedy should walk. So a foolish man fools and foolish men say he should walk. Because this is what we are going to see again. All those going to go sit there and talk to this guy. MP before the will soften the questions for him. They will protect him. Foolish people will depend a foolish man. So it technically makes everybody who is in a group with this foolish man become foolish. Do you know that? Because this guy has been fooling for a long time. He has been killing for a long time. With Jimmy Ache, country people see said this guy doesn't have to be in parliament. I, 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 even people don't see it. Technically, as he's foolish, you no, know, it makes everybody foolish. Carlos Ahenkra is foolish. He makes everybody foolish, including the speaker. Because Carlos Ahenkra foolishly displayed foolishness in parliament, and the speaker is sitting there still looking at Carlos Ahenkra and saying honorable. It means everybody in parliament condones foolishness. Technically, everybody in parliament is foolish. This guy is not supposed to come back to parliament. Alban Bagwin is running away from his responsibilities. 
That is the nonsense you are dealing with in Ghana. If this was the first time this animal was coming in front of parliament, privileges committee, it would have been cool. This guy has been there. And when he went there, the foolishness and exhibit, he exhibited, the arrogance, the, 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 the sheer stupidity he exhibited there, you people said he should walk. Today he'll come there and walk again because a Jimmy Four Nabeka Swanante. Because he has lived with you people. He lives with you people. He knows what you can do. Even at the point that Odin Kwasi has come to the core, you people made him walk. So what are you going to do? Tell me. Who can tell me BB BBC? Nothing will come out of this. Speaker should take matters into his hands and make a decision. You have lost the grip. Alban Babi, you have lost parliament. I'm telling you. You, Alban Bagbin, you know why you are dishonest? You are the same people when you were in parliament saying, say, we are not supposed to give car loans to MPs. Today, you are sitting there sharing nonsense. You see, you are a dishonest man. Very, very dishonest uh, northerner. You are a dishonest northerner. I will say it. You, when you were in power or when you were in parliament, you were saying, and that story is there, that we don't have to give MPs loan for cars. Today, you are the speaker. You are sharing this nonsense. We will come there. You have lost it. We people like us, we loved you. We trusted you that you could change things. You have made parliament worse. You are over, overseeing a parliament full of immature people. Do you know that? So we should take this foolish man to go sit at the same place he foolishly exhibited foolishness for those people who don't want to accept that he being foolish and being part of them makes them foolish to again go sit in front of this foolish man to ask him foolish questions for him to foolishly walk. So it's a foolish drama. And I'm going to say, this guy does not deserve to be in parliament. He's a murderer. Come to the States. He is a prime suspect. He killed a journalist. Or a murderer. He's a fool. He's unintelligent. This idiot, this murderer, shares the, intellig- uh, the, the parliamentary, whatever, security. This man, somebody who is temperamental, he cannot think, he cannot think on his feet. He cannot analyze issues. Jimmy Newey, and you adults go sit and say, Kennedy should lead this very sensitive committee. What Jimmy? Who did who made that decision? Who in the NPP said Kennedy should lead? Kennedy is a criminal. Kennedy is a murderer. The foolishness in Ghana is too much, man. The foolishness is too much. You don't even need to put together any privileges committee. You sit, you come together and say, I am taking this decision. This guy walks out of parliament. Not in my parliament. Not in my parliament. I proceed I proceed on issues here. I am the speaker of parliament. I cannot work with this dog. It works out of parliament because this is not the first time. You sit there and say, let him go to privileges committee. You make this fool always have power over you. So, Alban Babu, you have no authority, no power on parliament. Imagine, okay, time you're speaker of parliament. People were dying to get you there. We stayed awake for over 12 hours. NPP... Parliamentarians did everything to stop your nomination, your election, whatever. They did everything on the line. And people like us, young Ghanaians, believed that you were a principled man. You can come in and change things. You came in and you foolishly helped things become more worse. Yes, because Carlos Ahenkra is still in parliament. I've told you over and over, until you tell that fool to walk out of parliament, you are overseeing a foolish parliament. Because there's no respect there. Even you... You, your election, or you, your, 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 your position is still not respected because you are, you are sitting, you, you have accepted that, that nonsense Carlos did during your election. No? You accept it. It is foolishness. You accept it. If you want us to respect your position as the Speaker of Parliament, who is principled and can, we, we can trust, tell Carlos to leave Parliament. This Kennedy's foolishness, you don't need to refer it to Privileges Committee. If it was the first time, fine. Now, take a decision that to go into our constitution that there was a speaker of parliament who ignored. He ignored this stupid privileges committee and took a decision to defend a journalist, a Ghanaian. That is when you make history. You sit there and say, I've not even heard about it. Go to privileges. Normal foolishness. Do whatever you want to do. We are tired of you people. You are liars. I need to do this. It's very, very important. It is very, very important. Sometimes some, some things have to be, de- we need to deal with them um, before it gets out of hand. I'm sorry. Yeah, so that's it. So we are not, we are not happy he said she go to privileges. What is going to happen there? He stood in front of privileges and insulted them. Because This foolish fool. We are entertaining this fool in Ghana. 
Kennedy, Kennedy, and I'm out twenty. Jimmy, one of our soy or China, a phobi home. And a Kennedy, me and I'm a cook, a JB Dunkwa, me a Kufuado, me a Kufuado, me a plan in your cook, JB Dunkwa, and I'm a banner, me a Kufuado, me So nobody can talk my matter in Ghana. Since yesterday, since last, the beginning of the week, what is the MPP, MPB, and Akasas and Wimmy? A Jimmy from Gwa. Me see, since I send way bar out. What is a NPP MPB or parliament? I could be a Jimmy phone because I'm um, MPP for you. Yeah, there are some Jimmy, they are into party than the, the security of this nation. It's the majority of these parliamentarians are more the right MPP for because he's one of them. Nobody is speaking on the matter. Obia Jani, nobody's granting interviews. In Kwasia for who do you want to respect you people? This guy's this guy has done it before and he's doing it now. Let them come out and say we don't need this guy in parliament. That is when you see, say, parliament or MPP. But the behavior of these MPP MPs, because they see party more important, more they, they respect party than the, the security of the people. I want one of you to go out and speak against Kennedy and say Kennedy must leave parliament. Somebody's life is at stake in Kwasia do I be on Tuja? Fools. I'm still waiting for one NPP MP to sit on TV and categorically say Kennedy needs to leave Parliament because this is the second time he has threatened the journalist. And Mua, Mabet Snow, you're from Honorable Kwasia Four. You think it's easy, right? You think it's so easy for people to go out there, put their lives on the line and give you news? And Mua, Kwasia Four, when you're not talking about Mustafa Bese, media people to come and cover. Mua, Mua, Mua. Nobody has the balls to speak against this fool. Nobody in the NPP, in parliament, has the sense to come out and say, this guy, this is the second time I'm part of this government, I'm part of this party, I don't agree, and he needs to leave par parliament. Kennedy problem, you all leave parliament. I need you people to respond. We don't have time for this madness again. Nobody from the MPP side has made a statement against Kennedy Japan about this issue. From the, from the majority leader all the way to the last fool who is in the MPP in parliament. Parliament. say say Parliament. Nobody wants to speak. foolishness Nobody wants to speak. Speak. Say you want the guy out of Parliament. People are insulting you, people, because this fool is disgracing you. People, this is the second time. Mwa mugua ya MPP nti enti minka ambuwa ya mbuwa biya yiri mutu Kennedy nkuo biya nya Kennedy nkuo biya mpena Mwa foolish people you calling them honorables Me pe nipa nyanse ni baku pe wo MPP mwa parliament Be pi aka se Kennedy needs to leave parliament This is too much See ya for next time Now see this Carlos Ahinkra is part of Privileges Committee. Damn it! Carlos Ahinkra is part of Privileges Committee. Fuck, man. <laughs>
if you are a Ghanaian, you're a young man, you're a young woman, and you are listening to me and you are not angry, you have a, you are a problem. Wanka Tana, we are a problem, no? If you are watching me today and you are sitting there telling me that we should fix ourselves, you are the fucking problem. What are we your problem, no? And yes, are politicians with you. And you are the what you say. We should fix ourselves, no? What are we your problem, no? You are the disease. So we are young Ghanaian, young Ghanaian, oh, Tremi, and then that's what we say. We should still fix ourselves, sir. Now we are the what you want to catch them, We should fix ourselves, no? We are bottom four. What are we your problem, no? And you are not going to be because you are not going to be bottom four. You are not at this point, Carlos Ahentra, Ahentra is part of the Privileges Committee. Are we mad as a people? Jesus, let's move on. Nimyansa, oh, you're foolish. Now see this. MFWA condemns Kenny Japan's beat the hell out of him threat on Love FM's reporter. See, let me tell you people something. Senke ya mbetra ha nkasa enti enti em Anfa enkofobi e juma anto on the line Anka these people will not talk She time ma asem we see ye She time ma kenedi japon Eh yes, eh yes, eh de threat we babon tine MFW dien dien GJA Omu nina we quiet Anka irasu siye kuna Anka yukunu la dada Oh yeah Because the day the guy did that It was on TV it was on social media. It was everywhere. These people leading these institutions had it on their phones. They didn't see the need to make a statement or try to let people know that this is unacceptable. Suddenly, Obi would say the whole thing is getting at them. Yeah, who are institution? How useless they are! No, everybody is speaking. In Kiamatna, and they are pointing fingers at institutions like GJA. Uh, uh, what do we call it? MFWA, the the Media Foundation of West Africa. They are pointing fingers at you people. Uh, they would not have spoken. You see the country we live in. Now see this. See this foolish man. He is the most foolish GJA boss, uh, Ghana Fuenya. Unless you don't want to agree. How long did it take this guy to come out and make a statement against Kennedy Japan's threat? Ahmed Swali. I quite with threatening Ahmed Swali. He, this guy was GJ boss. He never spoke. Jimmy, recently I got to the Jubilee House. I, the president has no problem with the media. Foolishness. These people are moved from GJA. Every member, this guy needs to be kicked out. You don't even have to wait for his election. You have to pass vote of no confidence in this ignorant man. He can't speak for you. He's not there for you. You journalists pay him money every day and say we are paying dues. This guy is not there for you. This guy is a bad nut. You people need to have a general meeting, emergency meeting, and kick this guy out. Because, let me tell you people, the Swalena and the Erastus now, Abu Peso Mukununo, it can be any of you. I'm telling you, and this, if your money, he does not care. He doesn't. You need an emergency meeting. You need to call a meeting. You need to vote and get this guy out. But see, this guy is just there doing the bidding for the president. Are you now speaking? Are you now coming to speak on the matter? How long has it been? The president of the Ghana Journalist Association. You are now speaking. You are sick. You don't deserve to be in that position. What is your core responsibility? It's the responsibility of the institution is to protect the journalist. It's very, very important. So when you sit there and you cannot defend the journalist, it takes you more than 72 hours, whatever days, to come and make a statement, such delicate, dangerous statement, then you don't deserve to lead. The GJA needs to come out, come together, start making phone calls, pass vote of no confidence on this guy. There should be an emergency meeting to move this dwarf or twerp out of the office. Because if you have an institution when journalists are scared, they don't have anybody to sit and defend and make a statement and show that there's leadership behind them, then you people have no institution. You have to understand you are on your own. Ahmed Swalik was killed. This same perpetrator, this same criminal killer like in Japan did the same thing. This guy is sitting there. If by now, GJA was in court, Making a case against Canada, Japan, and Ken Chaomo, this foolish guy can't stand there and say, Yes, if you don't like what so yeah, he has done it before. So I am telling GJ, if you people want us to respect you people and give you that respect that Moody's ever now, you need to start making calls to each other. You need to come together and have an emergency meeting. You need to vote against this guy and get him out of office. And this will try this man to cry. Yes, because we are generous now to us and Gregoire. Basically, in crime, phone call or show more. Nenny, 
Ewa, Jubilee House, the Abeka son can oka. This guy cannot protect you. You need a leader who can make decisions, stand on their feet, speak irrespective of the person in front of them, irrespective of the political party in front of them, to make emphatic statements. Statements that a journalist in Ghana will be bold enough to say, I have an institution that protects me, backs me. This guy is ignorant. He's a political dimwit. He's a political bulldog. He is not there for you people. Meet, start making the calls and get rid of this guy. He is dumb. Now see this, what he said. It will be fatal to gamble with a Japan's threat against Erastus. It will not go anywhere. When you were supposed to take action, you never took action. When Ahmed Swale was shot, what did you really do? What did you really do against the person who put Ahmed Swale's face on TV? What did you do? You are just a puppet. Let's say, Let's say, until after the death of Ahmed Swale, only evidence, right? But the only evidence and fact you have, and I said there was one person who put Ahmed Swale's face on TV. So as the president of an institution that oversees the activities of journalists in Ghana, you have to use that, take that piece and take him to court. That is what you can do. Let court decide. Because technically, Kennedy Japan unveiled Ahmed Swale and then people got him to kill him. He organized his boys to kill him. So what do you do? Now you sit here, another one comes and say, you are using grammar. Grammar cannot change anything. Hear what he said. The hard truth is that a Japan's comments ignite concerns of cathedral proportions relative to the most tragic circumstances of the assassination of Ahmed Swale of Tiger Eye uh, fame, two and a half years. Nonsense, bro. Four, the same nonsense that Kufuado does in the Jubilee House. All that you said, Nanza Say that Kennedy Japan has actually done something wrong. We need to take him on. That is a statement from a leader. This man has done it before and he's doing it now and we have no option to take him to court. Now people will say you are making a decision. You sit there and say, circumstances to the cathedral to pronunciation. What about them? Were we born to speak grammar? This grammar will not solve any problem. We have practical problems, practical solutions you need to choose to tackle these kind of problems. You don't sit there and can't speak grammar to us. What's the sense in this grammar? And Kamino Kasenka, G.I.J. Jina Court, with that tape as evidence showing a judge say, this man did this before against a, 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 a fellow media person. He is doing this again. We want the highest form of sanctions. That is how you work. You sit there and come say, uh, the hard truth is that a Japan's comment ignites concerns of cathedral proportions relative to the most tragic circumstances of the assassination of Ahmed Swale of Tiger Eye fame two and a half years ago in TDA. What's not them? What trouble for the country? You see, Jimmy Anna. Me, my advice to GJ is this guy is a no no. By the end of this month, someone to me and put it together an emergency meeting to pass a vote of no confidence in this ignorant man. I'll turn my eye at you people. Then it means I already said, Young Kumu said, Mwah. And we will all add our voice for these killers to kill you people. It said, No, no. At this point, guy, we the road, the seat, he's done. He is not supposed to take that position from tomorrow. It is a no-no. There are no other options. After that portion, he needs to walk. He needs to walk so that when somebody steps in, in his position, and something like that happens again, you will see the reaction from the GJA. That is how it works. Because you take responsibility. And it's not consistently it has some it's not boni bisia consistently sa boni ne sa sisa because yati hey obi edi boni na osi atwe na so no na ya bra ya prato nchen it ni pa na omu di bono omo sa confidence to go ahead it's na kennedy ye dia oyeno me say ahmed swale dia ne baaye no if kennedy had been dragged to court by the gja and a gja was fighting for his seat to be taken away from him and called kasan ko bedwene ho but as usual if your money is a political dimwit Sit there, let the Kufuado call you and go and do propaganda. Nonsense. GJ, this is the time. Get rid of this guy. Vote against him. Let him not lead the GJA. You people have red white. You know what I'm talking about. Now, this is another sensitive story we need to look at. Something happened today, and I give credit to Inkoto. 
Uh, Inkoto is on Loud Silence TV. Um, you can catch him um, Ghana time around 3 o'clock. Um, he's always on Loud Silence TV. And 3.30 Ghana time every weekday. He actually, I was listening to him today. And to be very honest, we have all been so busy looking at the Chief Justice's um, scandal. We've been looking at other things. But he, to be very honest, as a member of a Loud Silence um, family, he has a keen interest in the EJRA um, um, committee hearing. So today I took my time to watch him on his show on Loud Silence TV. And he was making some very, very important points. If you don't know Inkoto, go on Facebook, N-K-O-T-O. He is always live on Loud Silence TV. Perfect submissions. He's also on Facebook as Inkoto. Now, he took his time to listen to the committee. And there's something, ah, AC or committee, why? We need to be very, very careful. The committee members, no more, no. They are biased. In fact, we are not even supposed to be here now. Because there are a lot of people that are com- calling to the committee and they don't need to be there. They call people who are not even present when the issue happened. It is madness. They are calling people to just come and soak the, 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 the lick the butt of the president to make Ekufuado's government look good. Now, how do you say this? Dear point, dear in quarter today, made a very good case. He broke it down for people to understand. You can go on this page, you can go watch it. Uh, in quarter on Facebook, Now, let me show you a video. Now, what you are seeing here is I saw Kaka's brother dragging him to the bathroom. And this is coming from the co tenant tells a drug committee. Remember, this is the same lady. When you ask her about hardcore evidence, she doesn't have. Sa na sem de kufuado e Kennedy Japan jina so ambesom de ku Erasmus Asaradonko no. This is a woman who cannot substantiate anything that she says. She was on the committee saying say assembly see an adwo no ohun kaka nua kaka ananka se ni nua se otwe na kwashe bathroom e na ofra ni kunu. Now the funny thing is na ni kunu no sini edura ho na ni kunu no osrem. The funny thing is committee na e de ni kunu na ba. He was not an eyewitness. He wasn't there when the issue happened. What at all is he going to contribute to this case? And in the first place, let me ask this simple question. With all due respect, whoever killed Kaka is one thing. We are looking at who ordered the soldiers to come to a draft to kill two people, get one person's leg cut off. That is what we are looking at. We don't care about... In fact, it is very important we get to know, uh, get to the bottom of people who, in fact, beat Kaka. so That is one. But the incident... The reason why a committee has been put together is not because when they cook cacao. The reason why we have a committee now is what happened at Edra. Why Ghanaians were shot by the police and the soldiers. That is why we have a committee. Don't get it wrong. We all know cacao was murdered. Kaka was beaten by some people. That is one. That can be investigated. The people who did that, that can be investigated. Remember. The shooting wasn't because Kaka was murdered or somebody killed an activist. The shooting was because people had gone to the cemetery and they were coming back home, aggrieved. They were not shooting. Some people ordered soldiers to go into the community and fire at Ghanaians. That is what we are trying to establish. It's the committee sitting there. No? To be very honest with you, they don't know what they are doing. They are ignorant. They are just sitting there. Dragging and wasting time so that almost see Because the day that the Ashanti regional minister appeared before the committee was the day they were supposed to end this hearing. Because the reason why I took committee now sitting in and saying, Yeah, two because you're penipa or mass are shooting in the course. That's all. And one or die a, a, a regional minister. When I did soldier for the by a regional minister, commander. So we don't even need to move forward again. You're giving too much. So these people are sitting there doing a bidding for a Kufuado. Now listen to what happened. And the woman is going to speak. But listen to the statement and comments from one of the committee members. Obia Yesu, we are a committee member. What are you going to do? Go and interrogate people. And after that, you sit and analyze the statement. You take it to the president. It is not your job to decide during the hearing who is telling the truth or who is telling lies. Your job is to listen. Make your deductions. You don't sit on the committee to let people think when they are sitting in front of you, they are right. No, because the probability of people coming there to lie, to defend people, to protect people, is a thousand percent. So you don't sit up there and make statements because a statement from a committee member can tell the body language and the conclusion a committee is going to come out with. Now let's listen to this. 
And this happened today. You will see why I said this committee is a waste of time. They are there to go lick the butt of the president. These people are all junkies. They don't know what they are doing. They are tribal bigots. They're there. People are dead. You are sitting there. Now, take your time. Let's listen. And then you will know that so that committee hearing is useless. Especially those members sitting there. Watch this. Some phone call. I'm going to take down here. Come with me, man. Why were you afraid to tell your story initially? Well, first, my husband was not there. You don't mean a can can your farmer, and German and Jerry was a known Baba Yama. Because I'm also a woman, I was afraid to tell the truth for him to turn it over me. So that was why I was afraid to tell the truth. As a woman. Yes, as a woman. Okay, thank you. We thank you very much for coming to throw light on matters concerning the death of Kaka. Mm, the police are currently investigating his death. We will urge you to continue to assist the police in that direction. We are very grateful. May Allah continue to protect you wherever you are. It's unfortunate that you have to uh, find a place to hide yourself. And uh, that is uh, the system we are in as uh, people. We normally don't want uh, to hear the truth. Yes, because uh, the truth is very bitter in the mouth, but when you swallow it, you feel relieved. We thank you. Allah be with you. Let the fire from now seven ladder. Ne, I'm your yama amazo. I'm but be halish. To hear the truth. Yes, because uh, the truth is very bitter in the mouth, but when you swallow it, you feel relieved. We thank you. Allah be with you. Let the fire from now seven ladder. Ne. You are a committee member. Somebody appears in front of you, right? And then they come to make their case. Your job, your basic job is to establish the truth. Now, when you sit in front of somebody who has been brought in to speak on the issue, it is not your responsibility. It is not part of your job to sit in front of the person to say, you know what? People don't want to hear the truth and that you have come to speak the truth and that uh, God would... No, it doesn't work like that because the probability of the woman lying to is high. You cannot take the woman's word and just turn around and say she came to speak the truth. No. If the woman saw Kaka, his brother pulling Kaka to the bathroom, does it mean he killed the brother? You are, you, are, you are not kids. You are committee members. I've learned a little bit of logical reason when I was taking my law school exams. If you see Kaka's brother dragging Kaka to the bathroom, does it mean he killed Kaka? For all you know, he saw Kaka in a situation where Kaka could not do anything. He is taking him to the bathroom to put water on his face for him to wake up. For all you know, he is the person. So for the woman to just come make that statement for you, the committee members, to say that, Truth is better. You have to swallow it. You have done well. How do you know this woman is telling the truth? How do you know? How do you make that conclusion? How do you know? F you, how do you know the woman sitting there has not been paid by somebody to come and lie? Because you are still questioning, interrogating people. You don't make such a conclusion in front of a witness. Now, what you did this, what you have done is. Obia or baby, and you people have presumed you have your idea already. You have concluded the case whilst you are sitting there because the woman who came said Kaka, his brother killed him. Now you have told the woman that truth is better. She has come forward to say the truth, meaning whoever comes and speak anything against or otherwise is lying. So what are you telling Kaka's family? Because they also came to do give a contradictory statement. 
they are saying that it wasn't uh, Kaka's brother who killed him. So why do you make such a statement? Because the two statements are contradicting. Somebody says that I saw the brother drag him to the bathroom. The family also who were there said that his brother did not kill him. So how do you make such a statement and say, say, truth is bitter. God bless you. And this nonsense of trying to buy the, what, what, is, what foolishness is this? What is your job there? Your statement alone shows that you have taken your own, your sight already. You are a committee to interrogate. You are not a committee to conclude. You are a committee to interrogate. You don't conclude your submissions and you don't conclude whatever is in your head in front of a witness. Now, as I sit here, I know that the woman came to tell the truth. Anybody who walks in front of the panel and say that the woman is lying, you will not believe it because you said truth is better and that she coming to speak the truth. What kind of foolish group is this? We sit in a country where when you see people speak on TV, the moment you give them job, everyone will say they are foolish. Jimmy, God bless you for coming to speak the truth. Who says the woman is speaking the truth? What makes you think that the woman is speaking the truth? On what basis do you think this woman is really speaking the truth? Are you foolish? Because there are other people who came there with counter truth, with contradict, contradictory is, is, statement. People who came there with opposing view from this woman's view. Why do you sit and say truth is there and there? Ka, ka, that statement alone shows where you people are heading. Mu Jimmy, na mujai Jimmy no. And then number just say Jimmy sa na. Chuck, the world has changed though. Me no na kamiti pan on oswa. The moment my statement questioning is end i don't add anything to it thank you for showing up if you are a committee member and you pose seven questions to a witness or whoever is sitting in front of you the moment you say do we have any more questions and the other colleague says no you tell the person thank you for showing up finished nobody is supposed to know what you think you are sitting there and then praising a witness and making the witness think that she came to speak the truth so the media will pick it and say that committee now confirms the truth who because you sat there and you said she's come to speak the truth you people are foolish see this one too Funerals are not spreading COVID-19. Parties do. Why? Because they want... And can ask them, no. Government monitoring reveals. The government of Ghana, led by Bentwa, led by Okpo, he put a monitoring team together, President Tekufuaro's monitoring team. And then they work, the government is paying them, technically we are paying them, and they come to tell us that funerals... Don't spread COVID. They don't spread COVID. It is only parties. So technically, they want to justify the president's foolishness. Time or call, say Johnny, you know, you and Jimmy saw. These people, eh? Jimmy pa, you don't mind. You move pa. I'm telling you, they don't even have common sense to know. Say, nipa ne yeti mind musi si ano. Any any wabon tini nimyan sa ya jene. Funerals don't. Parties do. Why do you think they are? Taking funerals, funeral on Kwanum year. Because the moment they say funerals also contribute to COVID spread, the president is guilty. So they need to do something to clean the ass of a dumb president. So funerals don't, don't spread COVID. It is only parties. The foolishness of a Ghanaian politician. Okotwan and some funo, you can't have a for both. Now, I'll go for a chewine. I'll go for a chewine. I am more handsome than him. A you can't feed me. I can't feed him. Into the pan, I'm But the facts are the facts. So today in Ghana, we know that funerals there they don't spread by parties. Which parties? What kind of parties? But you can't just say parties. What parties are you talking about? Beach parties? You're talking about nightclub parties? You're talking about birthday? What kind of parties are you talking about? Because we have different kinds of funeral. You see, these people are liars to the point whereby they are doing everything possible to protect the Kufuado's foolishness. And it is not possible because the more you protect or defend the Kufuado's foolishness, he becomes more foolish. So every day you have some foolishness to cover. That is what makes this government very, very stupid. 
Because you need to let the person understand. We cannot be cleaning your shit every day. Now see this. After they made that statement, we have over 2,000 students from 363 schools having co-contracted COVID-19 since January. Over 2,000 students. Let me tell you for a fact. It is more than 2,000. You know why? Because they can't have the number right. There's no legitimate or, or precise contact tracing. They don't. If one student or three students have COVID in a senior high school in Ghana, you need to understand about 60% of the students in a week will have it. So even this number, you need to understand that it is not the right number. Funeral gathering is different from party gathering. Gathering be gathering. Every gathering be gathering. And it will be canon. So funeral gathering is different from party gathering. So with funeral gathering, when you gather at the funeral, now the post and the tarot said this is a funeral. COVID is true. COVID embaho. But some could gather now because when they be there to party there, funeral will come there. The foolishness of a Ghanaian politician. And what hurts me is the GMA is sitting there. The the the, the Ghana Health Service they are sitting there. This foolishness because they know it's a lie. Me see COVID no bar. <laughs> Today, I was supposed to show you guys something I forgot. Tomorrow, I'll talk about it. Now, see this. Volta region records highest number of COVID-19 cases in schools. Or he be Volta region or by on Guinea side in who? Or by our country president or man the car. In Tuma was crying in Tuma. Every whole West town or the car, wada no page of the tea. No, it's not home. You drew a nice, you drew it. Or the car, wada. Ade ya yeko jubilee house ni nko ofo obewu covid ni wo volta region en kora ni nya en hia no ohia ka mr president you know your brother uh, you know every time i put on my regalia i have to stand by the roadside and then wait for trotro which is not fine so if you could bless your brother en kwasi akika say if you could bless your brother with a car okay we ja <laughs> COVID is scared of funeral in Ghana. Now see this. COVID-19, oxygen running out. Don't fall sick. Infectious disease center warns. COVID-19, oxygen is running out. Don't fall sick. Infectious disease center is warning Ghanaians. Why are you telling us not to fall sick? Huh? You think there will be to one of us or Yari? Nobody prays to get sick. No. Obi any wa bompa is onya COVID. No. But the disease center, disease control center was a disease, um, infect, infectious disease center for no one and nobody may know. They know the numbers coming in no, a high. It is not a priority order. Now, Mumu say why has he stopped giving updates on COVID? Well, but damn. So much didn't call him. Why don't you ask your Okpo, the president, say, why hasn't he given us any update on COVID now? Because we know, for what we know, that the numbers are going up, people are dying. Why has he refused to give us update? Say any tick room, Hano. Or two quiet crow to be recorded to Sunday, you bring your weight, you're Jimmy T. Now, Bobo Bonin, you need tea because you could follow. He shut, he, he, he shut every media house down, or no quite a bit to my recorded update. He shut every minister down. He shut uh, Baumia down. I didn't think the Kufuado has stopped giving us update. Okpo, onim, 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 see, or you see a Jimmy. Ask that your president. Say so why has he stopped giving Ghanaians update? Because he knows what he did. That funeral no koye no. Obe general say obe update that. E did the attempt ankofu be dinner ne re be ho no ho. Say bio nen to he be go. Me see e kufu ado okpo oye mistake so obe ma COVID nineteen update. The kind of insult he will get, his balls will shrink that night. Shishim even though I recorded no kobe nunu ho. Now see this. I was not at Sir John's funeral. We didn't say men can who a good for the Jimmy for the coy chief justice more in Kwan or Mokoy. On no now or advice a good on COVID 19 related issues. Advice a good on how to handle COVID 19 spread. No, I say I wasn't there. <laughs> Media, I wasn't there. A Jimmy for the coy on no now or no advice a good Say COVID no. And this is spread the yen yes, yen yes, yen to your masino, or say media media man quay yen you, and you could for the Jimmy for the coy, media yen man could be into your opinion, sir. Don't add me to it. Wait, I am innocent. Gala for more problem, oh, every day, young couple. 
This guy says, me, I wasn't there, so don't blame me. Who should we blame? You advise the president. Every statement that he comes out with concerning COVID-19, it is you. It is through your direction. It is your advice. One of the majority of the time, who trodden statistics in the system. Now, the this is not a government. This is a cluster of Kita school boys, including your Sakawa boys, including your ignorant fools who wear suit, a, a whole cluster of fools. And you have to have a bomb. I'm telling you. Okpo, eh? Eku for the or your Okpo. Or your Bubura no ma, or Jerana de Bujina ho. He doesn't have ideas. Mr. Mo president in a gabi. Asima makan in day, if you're Ghanaian and you are not pissed, I don't know what is going to piss you off again. That's why you didn't need you, ma. You are thinking about my language, but you're not thinking about a president spending over 34 million Ghana cities on past questions. Are you a fool? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? You have a problem with the adjectives I'm using. Why do you why why are you not asking why I'm using those adjectives? Why are you not asking? I don't know, Busa. I don't know, Kevin. He uses these words because a certain president, ah, ni chrome ni yekasa si siyarom ni pa nyak school day intim teachers for yentu amoka ye e muani ni pa na enumusio e yete e ni shi e kwa ya se bibi anje watam thirty four million Ghana cedis so I record to pass question. Oh nyabwa so I best support you anyway. Then you are asking me why I'm using these adjectives. And then you say, one guy says, okay. <laughs> yeah, so what kind of words should I use? 34 million Ghana cities. Yeah, they're caught up Pasco. Oh, free. Who them 34 million Ghana cities? Me born old Ghana cities. Oh, damn now. Then come. These are the things we need to speak on. No, oh, free. Bini. A man for when you say, Fufufuna, it's a team name. Check yourself. Check yourself. Oh, free. With Jimmy now, I'm going to take Ghana. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, 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 Monje, ya sako ji loan fufro. Ya sako World Bank. Ya sako ji 200 million dollars. Ya di bede, ya di be fight to COVID. They are lying. Mumbusa, so far ya kufu, say COVID is kene kwa ji ya no. 1 billion, 100 billion. Sa si kane wain, sa abro wano, nyanku pombe kuno, that woman. What blessing will she get? A wu di COVID sika ni pe wu. Me se da so far ya kufu, no mo fane mbra. Sa wane yoswoy the holy one. Only they the honest one. Only they go heaven. The people bring her and let her come and answer questions. What is your Jimmyana? Obia na na obia on fear. Obia fear na na oh. Every single home bia yo na na oh. We have a grandma. On to me for na 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 begunu na obia. And Ghana, they don't respect. I am also for Yakufu. Can one no pardon? Shut up, woman. Come and tell us. I'm asking for two hundred million. Ebusu ebusu ya four. I'm ukodi. What's your sum? I'm going to come and I have never sat on this my platform to beg anybody to come watch me. I'm telling you, I'm not. Because I am not here to please anybody. I am here to sell the facts. Inti masa, and inti niya wei riasi so many different avenues. Koho koshe, so many no kureno wohoa. Wei de jimi sem, Sufa Yekufu da hon te gana. Ye ngu member of parliament, BIA, wei raising say we need Sufa Yekufu in parliament. What is wrong with these people in parliament? You people need to sell on that woman. That woman is a liar. That woman is a criminal. You need to send on her in parliament and ask her questions. Where is the money? How much did we spend? How much is left? She is not over the law. She is not above any shit in Ghana. She is also a citizen like you and I. We don't fucking care about being former CJ. She is a Ghanaian who took our money to spend. Bring that witch and ask her where our money is. Where is the money? Nobody's asking her the money. And she's sitting there. Don't touch her because we're nini. I'm telling you. Every single home has an old woman in it. Into you are not exceptional. You retired, but you saw the need to take that money and oversee the money, sit over the money. Now, this is the time for you to come answer questions. Because saying, also are retired, you didn't want to be in the public face. You didn't want to be in the news. You would have told Okpo, Ekufuwa to say, I'm done here. I was the CJ. I have served this nation. I am done. I am tired. I have resigned. I have retired. I don't want to be involved in any public discourse. Please find somebody who is energetic, somebody who can do the same job I can do and hand over this money to for the person to take care of this. You greedy, you greedy old woman. Say, give me the money. I will handle it and take care of COVID. Come and answer. I was waiting. Come and answer. Come and answer and tell me who's who you need. Be some now catch them. You people need to sell on her. I must have got you 200 million dollars. A cow, we are going to pay. 
And these old dying men and women will die and leave this on us to struggle to pay. We will always be like this. Yahumba pepra is here. Yahumba chere. Kumbi kuye malaria be kuye. Yani mwa be numusio inso tu yabeti tenso ni tise kumasufu. Yabeti yangu kwa siyafu sa because yenye ready siyabeti kando kura chini peni for mojimi. Because majority of the people you have given power to are foolish. They don't think about you, the people. See this. We need to be done with this quickly. Don't give MPs. Council of State members car loan after this last one. Nonsense. We don't want you people to get this one. <laughs> ah, now just said the day I said we don't want a car loan to be given to you people, you criminals. It's because we want it to be next time. We want it to stop now. They have gone to sit and say, Sika wedi and sanka de jimmy. Yang can jump next time. Next time for us about say, Oh, wait yeah. When the last one, last conco. No, 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 no. This money is not supposed to go. Now, the shocking part is, when you go to parliament right now, you, 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 you see a few men, a few women, who are honest about this issue, and they don't even want the money to come. They don't want the money to be given to them. But majority of those people in parliament now, they be no musu, sikeniwa, we need to come together and build a nation. Those ones who cry a lot, those are the ones behind the scenes pushing this through. Why hasn't Haruna Idrisu come out to say this money there? With all due respect, I've been in parliament all these years. I don't need it. And if you're a member of parliament on my side and you need it, go ahead. Why is the leadership, Mumbarak? Have you heard them speak? They are liars. Those two people, they are doing business with this car thing. $100,000. They don't want Ufuriata to come to parliament and answer Ekufuaro's luxury trip. This is bribing them. Why hasn't Mubarak and Haruna's... You know what? We are, we are in parliament. We are the leadership. I am not taking it. Because nobody can tell me Haruna Idrisu does not have a V8. Nobody can tell me. Nobody can tell me Muntaka doesn't have a V8. No one can tell me that nonsense. So what is stopping Haruna and Muntaka coming out to say we are in opposition. We see how the economy is dwindling. We complain every day how teachers are not getting paid. How things are not being worked on. How COVID is killing us. How infrastructure problem is hitting this nation hard. I am the leader of this side of the pal of parliament. I don't need it because I have one. I don't need a hundred thousand dollars. I don't need that loan. If you are on my side and you also need it, go ahead because the leader's action will trigger. People will not even think of doing that. But they, the leaders, they have not spoken because they are the ones behind us. They are pushing Oforiata to bring them this money because foolishly, we will be incurring 60% of this foolish loan. So you, the NDC people, call your Haruna. He is a greedy old man, greedy young man. I pay money to two. say V eight hundred thousand dollars. What is it going to do for him? Say on your greedy guy, because you have been in parliament all this while. Muntaka has been in parliament all this while. You people have about four or five V eight parked in your houses. What is this money going to do to you? You are liars, you people. You this NDC leadership. The NDC leadership in parliament, they negotiated for this nonsense because it's a bribe. They don't want Oforiata to come to parliament and tell us the money Sekufuara spent on that luxury trip. So they are sitting there and they sit there and they think nothing is wrong. Where is Muntaka and where is Haruna? If they want to show leadership and tell Ghanaians that they are a party or a group that is coming in to change the lives of Ghanaians. They are a group that thinks about the poverty and how Ghanaians are struggling. How the economy is being messed up from these kinds of th monies that we are dishing out. They, the opposition, are ready to save this nation some dimes. So... As the leader of the opposition in parliament, I am not taking this money. If you are behind me and you support me, don't take it. So that you will see who is not lobbying behind the scenes for this money. Harry Naidusu is lobbying for this money. It is his project. These people are liars. The leadership of the NDC in parliament is a lying leadership. They don't speak truth. Go to Harun Idrisu's house right now. There is a V8 more than four there sitting there. He has it. What is the $100,000 going to do to you? Then you come and sit on radio and criticize a bad government like this and tell Ghanaians, vote for me. You are greedy. Nobody's going to vote for you because you're a liar. Show a little, bit of, a little bit of sympathy and leadership 
and tell people that we are patriotic people, even in opposition, we can save you people money. You sit in opposition, you want $100,000, we pay you 60%, you want me to come and vote for you to come to power. You are more greedy than the person in power. That's why I keep saying that this NDC leadership, the leadership in parliament, they are criminals. I will tell you people, you are liars. You, 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 are, you are going to do it next time. When is next time? Next time is when you are in parliament, when maybe NDC wins elections, and you sit there and you go and negotiate behind the scenes and say, we cannot do anything about it because when we went to vote, nonsense. This thing is not supposed to happen now. If the NDC makes this happen, don't vote for the MPs because they don't think about you. If the NDC in parliament, led by Haruna and Muntaka, force for this to happen in parliament, $100,000 each for everybody, you people should not vote for these people calling themselves MP. You can vote for a presidential candidate, ignore this idiot because they are not ready for you. They need to pull the brakes. The NDC leadership needs to show Ghanaians they are ready to serve the people, irrespective of the situation they're in. Now we all know the country is done. We don't have money. You, the opposition, what do you do? What you do is you sit back and tell the people, we are in opposition, we feel your pain, and we want to make sure we save this money for some projects to develop this nation. A good one is heartless, but we are not heartless. We don't need this money. You can't do that, then you are selfish. If you can't do this, you don't deserve power. If you can't do this, you don't have to come back to parliament because you are a greedy old politician who is only thinking about themselves. This is just money Oforiata is paying the leadership of parliament so that he doesn't come to answer Ekufuado's stupid trips. The question is, what is stopping Ken Oforiata from coming to parliament to tell us how much Ekufuado spent on these trips? Foolishness. And we are using suits. We are using grammar. We are using I belong here and I belong here to foolishly destroy this nation. Monsieur, which, who in parliament today doesn't have a V8? Who? Who? Tell me. And the shit about this whole nonsense is they will take the money and we bear 60% of the cost. What kind of foolishness is that? And you turn around and come and say, NDC, MPP is destroying the nation. You are the people destroying the nation. Because even in opposition, you are helping the coup for to destroy the nation. What if we hand over this country to you? Criminals. Show leadership. Let the people have some faith and believe in you people again. Let them understand that you are there fighting for their needs. You are there fighting for some money to be saved. I'm talking to every NDC MP in parliament. Stop this selfish greed thing you people are doing there. You are an embarrassment to our politics. That is why sometimes people sit somewhere and say NDC and PP are the same because you are always in the same nonsense, the same criminality, the same crime. And the leadership of the NDC in parliament, you guys are the biggest and dishonest people we have ever seen in Ghana. If anybody gets into a queue to go vote for this NDC leadership, if they take this money, you are a fool to do that. I'm telling you, if Haruna Idrisu and Muntaka lead this NDC leadership, to take this money in parliament, let me tell you something. In 2024, when you go get in a queue to vote for any of these MPs, you are a fool. They are the oppositions. They are supposed to force the government to do the right thing. What is the right thing right now? The right thing right now is the government to save us some money so that at least we can take care of most important things to us. We don't need a fucking V8. Who cares? When you're taking up the job, did anybody tell you we're going to buy a V8 to come to work? You are paid, my friends. Use that salary to take care of your business. We are not going to come sit here and entertain your nonsense. Who cares about your V8? We need our money to do something better. We need that money to save kids. We need that money to build schools. We need that money to build roads. The foolishness is too much. The madness with the NDC leadership is too much. And you people are entertaining these people in parliament, destroying us because they are always conniving with these criminals in power and using some kind of act, letting us feel like they are better than the NPP. Show us you are better by letting the people know you are patriots. Letting the people know you are not conniving with these criminals to suck us dry. Tell them you don't need the money. Tell them you want to prove to Ghanaians that you are a better alternative than these criminals in parliament. If you go ahead, ahead and take this money, I swear to God, if any Ghanaians get into a queue to vote for such criminals, then you are a fool to vote for such people. Because even in opposition, they don't care. They don't think about you. These are facts. And these are not things to joke about. I don't care. I don't care about which political party is fooling. I will tell you who you are. What in your face, baby? I don't care.
still watching with all due respect extended version my name is kevin akobe utilize exactly 6 8 p.m here is definitely 10 8 uh p.m in ghana you're still watching with all due respect extended version um let us finish just two stories and then we can take care of um the editorial of the day the editorial of the day is very very important it's about the chief justice it's about the general legal counsel it's uh, about nana or Dom. it's about what is going to happen tomorrow you need to have an idea of what is going to happen tomorrow so you can't miss this editorial it is very very important you know i don't normally say these kind of things but you can't miss this editorial you need to have an idea of what is actually going to happen tomorrow now let's look at this last one um this is coming from parliament and this is what the majority is saying now probing account must start from lodina mahama madness instead of members of parliament on the majority side hey you jimmy oh you wake jimmy for too much or ghana so now we are telling the kufwado's government say Nana no dan kweku fuado as sign documenta emma ho kwan se etua na yiriska no ah mose mu members of parliament a mu wo ho to represent the people for their well-being to make sure say ye benye sika ni ya dia hwe kuro no so no mu di mu ji mi se ya di rebecca sikan ti emu ya inti yanko ni yanko probi wan lordina mahama ji mi se ya ni etimo o wo kan obi se we die we nyini now listen to this the majority made their case and the minority made their case Let's take two minutes to listen to the minority, uh, the majority's case on this issue about starting uh, the probing from Lodina and listen to the minority's point. Now, we are near Jimmy Fony Finance and near moving forward. It's very important. Let's listen to this. This whole issue give rise to has actually induced the first lady and the second lady to say that, okay, we have not even written to accept the new proposal. We are rejecting it. If even the allowances given us is an issue, we are paying back. Then they go again. Some are saying he's, she's arrogant. Some are saying her account should be checked. Thank you very much. If that is the case, the account of Lordina Mahama, Her Excellency, respectfully, we must start from here. We must start from all the first ladies. All of them, we have to. I agree to what they are saying. But it couldn't have the only one first lady. Two, since when in this country did we start auditing NGOs? I'm not a legal practitioner. The fact of the matter is that my brothers from the NDC is not about Ghana. It's all about political power. They don't care about the forward movement of this country. Yeah. The very thing that they introduced, the very thing that they did in bigger measures, the very thing that they are part of the approval system, look at what they are doing. Do they really love this country? Instead of them concentrating on alternative policies, every day is about propaganda. 21st century, Africa is tired of propaganda. We need to love this country, work as one body. The fact of the time matter is that the first lady has rejected. She's ready to pay or is even paying whatever she took. If they think they have something wrong with it, we should start from Lordina Maham. The first question is that since 2017, that she started receiving this salary, uh, does, that, does it mean that she doesn't spend the money and she kept the money in her account all this while? If the answer is say yes, it means that she did not need the money. So why did she take the money in the first place? If that is the case, refunding the money now, you must also compute the interest that the money would have accrued and pay that same to government. Uh, so we are calling on the Auditor General to go into the accounts of the uh, first lady and the second lady, first of all, to ascertain that the money she refunded is the money that she actually uh, received. That is number one. Two, also to compute the interest that that money would have accrued if that money had been put into any interest-bearing account so that that money should also uh, be refunded. The interest component should also be refunded. Third, to ascertain whether there is sufficient money in the account so that the check that she's, uh, she has issued will not bounce. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. I, I saw a lot of people saying, Kevin, clean your face. You clean your face with um, 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 a tissue here and it's on your Thank you very much, guys. But when you listen to these two guys, 
Ya Jimmy Semia akwai wo ayi ya friend say akwawi. Like you know you are not a legal practitioner. So you have no basis as small kakra won tia se. Iti see we mo no go parliament o. This is the kind of person in parliament on tia se we Jimmy to the point say just say you show be a suit of fui be on be general TV so kasa. It should start from Lordina Mahama. Lordina Mahama Jusika. <laughs> and this is a member of parliament. The problem with Ghana politics is See, I can't say NDC near, and I say I can't say MPP near. So NDC for Jimmy Sankra or NDC, it would not parliamenta. Jimmy and DC for Jimmy, you know, Jim. See, I can't say MPP near, or your MPP new quad there, or what's not parliamenta. Candidate the poor Jimmy or MPP for Jimmy Crana or be fun area or your MPP ninety or support it. That is our problem in Ghana. Your politics is your problem. No, no, I have never seen. In our fourth republic dispensation, say a few times, maybe a young one or two be say a whole party, a, a, a government, or more power, a parliament, are opposing something a president or their government is doing. Never, I mean, more a dear or can you answer better room, sir? MPP, as much you know, how can you answer better room because you have paid somebody money, right? And uh, let, let's even leave that one because the money, uh, almost said, Lordina. Uh, 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 Rebecca should come out and tell us more because what to me at times has kind of my one day. Fine, just tell us how you made that money because did you touch it or you didn't touch it? Now Jimmy, you know what MPP has to say. Now on any point, you know say at dinner, people are asking questions on TSS and Govobusa questions. Indeed, so I followed in a Mahama and Bema. Rebecca, I could follow on questions. I'm no dear, more beyond can watch them. Question penny way didn't pay more or Parliament. Kwasi mpenyi we, yesa kwa tuwa bama, yejina kumasi yesa la, yin suro tori yejirim, na yama tuwa bama, wachin we, iti beye dena wama yena koso, obe jina abeye muba a parliament, obaye, odi kobi, kobi na yikura ba kumasi, jimi, enye timu, obia ya boni, ya eka huwasem, o ya MPP niti, jimi sema ya koso, o so o supporti, inti wadeni kwasi ya kekambe jina, ni tise, ni tise achim polisi ba, ade nti la, mlodina mahama na asamna ya eka nendeno, or no NGO be a legitimately all ex presidents and their spouses have taken the same money. No, ah, the greedy Rebecca now. What can you say? As an Kriguar ball a bed, no, on any crew, okpo, no money bread, you know, call change document to make sure say the greedy wife gets a lot of money. No, now you can't want some man, not would you or fool you do this at Chimba, Abijina, as propaganda, as a question penny. I blame the people who voted for you and brought you to parliament of change. So in this country, question penny be our MPP and question dear baby baby and also so question penny be our NDC and question dear baby and this baby and also so it's a Jimmy from Guan Ebuye. You spoke and spoke and spoke and you ended by saying you are not a legal practitioner. It's what is making you speak. You are a fool because the line you were towing, you knew the line wasn't right. What research did you do before you come stand there spill this nonsense? Mo Rebecca or your crown four. You are Rebecca Ekufuado. And if we have paid you for five years and you've been able to raise that money one time and given to us, Abra ye ni me juma awye. Abra ye ni mse sikano. Oko fano wahi ana ko fano wahi. Abra sikano pa so chile se wano fao sa nkanda. You need to let us know the kind of job you do. Of course, kwa beti mwabe ka chile se ube tuye sikano in a stretch of 10 years. Every month, you be my 200 Ghana. Ya beti asye because we know you don't have any other serious business bringing in money. All that we know is your NGO. NGO does not pay you. You are the president's wife. You take allowance. Also, pay also. So we have every right to ask you. Hey, dear. Hey, Japasi kano, PDA si kano. Kronu a ukunu ni boy ni bamti mu boy no. Where is she as a woman no? You are a terrible thief. We need to ask questions, pose questions for to you to give us answers. Because at the end of the day, you sleep in the Jubilee House. The probability of you getting involved in criminality, corruption, and illegal money, accessing those kind of things is high. So we need to clear you. What the minority is doing is to give you some kind of response and credibility. Don't you know? The minority is trying everything possible to give Rebecca Ekufuado some credibility. Now, if we go into Ekufuado's, uh, Rebecca's books, and Rebecca is able to prove that this is my company, this is my company, this is how much I'm making, this is how much taxes I paid over the five years, and I took this from this company, took this from this company, and I have paid you that money. Who is going to doubt Rebecca again? Jimmy Kwasiato, Lordina, Lordina. Such foolish actors are in parliament, and oh, Jimmy Niwe, oh, Nyaka. No, they are quite small girl, BH. I'm not going to finish the ball again, confirm. No, they're not going to say, yeah, they are going to school, your parliament. Kwasiasi. Oh, God, to Abama Kwasiasi, won't worry. 
Obe di MP. At the Papa Ben Pano de Bakuma Sam, or the Abbas Antimemu. Ye cross yani a Jimmy in your team, ye are Santa Four, ye are Infanta Four, ye are Wuna Four, ye are Crime Four, ye are Slim Four, and ye Jimmy, Jimmy Nibian in our parliament, ye are Jimmy Mine, ye are Jimmy at the Tigana, a spread it. Quasiato, a summer Kenyan Sabin womb. Let's take care of business. It's exactly 6.18. It's time for the editorial of the day. Now, and the editorial of the day you know, is simple. Tomorrow, a year or China, you know, you know, as summer, a cost of Ghana. And as summer, a cost of Ghana, you know, and say, or he be at the lawyer be, or he be a friend, Nana or J. Dom. I don't have time to use any adjectives at him. Let's look at the issue the way it is. Yen Tia Semino, Sene Bea or Chinano, Estatina ACCA, we can all sit back and say, Kevin said it. This even is not right. Or Hinibi or Sefer Nana or J. Dom, or say lawyer be an oyen a lawyer, a genisica, a hundred thousand dollars. Into a draw, a whole statement, petition, sent it to the legal, the general legal counsel. Say, Omon Fre lawyer, Nembra, Nomon Musano. Send the sick and away, while Tata and Ginisica on Fanisica Mano. On Hinna Natural Letter to call a year General Legal Council. No? The General Legal Council, no, what they did was they told, they also wrote a letter, sad letter now, Henry Bromono. On the letter, no, the same thing, come on, lawyer, and say, Oh, be a bekan, summer to so, while no ya in the same. What is your response? The lawyer and a friend, lawyer, could see a free funnel, or no so at the pen, a secret also, when deny. Or tre a bra or whoons are or hini way, Juma de ordine di, dear Jumanico see ye, at the current on Nija Juma ye, any dear a course soon in ninety. The lawyer also responded, the general legal counsel, accordingly. Now, today, let's take our time. Na in Yabutre. Maybe something can can't say me, and Sanya Statia said, Munim said today, do you know what happened today in the Supreme Court? The Chief Justice, eh? He was supposed to sit on the case today. So in the Supreme Court, he did in some different different uh, 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 courtrooms. The Chief Justice yesterday did not. He was in court in his office because he was shy. Because he felt to say, a seminary question on ABA Onimwa, you know, the Chief Justice never popped up to sit on one case cases. So that's yesterday. The Chief Justice did not out of, I don't know if it is guilt. Because what is your problem? I don't know, sir. Something is worrying him. And I said, why are you so embarrassed? You know? He was in court. He was in the Supreme Court premises in his office. He never showed up in court. So, sir, or came up, your poor court, you know, before he left the premises. Today, all the Supreme Court judges said, out of solidarity, for the chief justice, in tea, none of them sat on any case. Muntie, because it is very important. I must say, they are supporting the chief justice. In tea, none of the Supreme Court judges in the Supreme Court, and uh, nobody sat on any case today. <laughs> but the question I want to ask is, the chief justice as we speak today, case of our general legal counsel, is he a petitioner or a respondent? What is his part here? Because at the end of the day, you case not get a case. You dissect the case. You can't get a case. You can't get a case. You can't get a case. Is he a petitioner? Is he a respondent? Or a DIA? What is his part in this case? Ah, at this point, you know, judges in the Supreme Court are all saying, today we are not going to sit in solidarity with the Chief Justice. Has the Chief Justice committed any crime? That is the first question you need to ask yourself. Because from what we know, Sir Obika Asam Toswa, as lawyers and judges, you know, Sir, for somebody to just make an allegation about you does not mean you are guilty. So for all of you guys to say, we're in solidarity with the Chief Justice, no, are you now confirming the Chief Justice is guilty of something? Because if he is not, you need to go by your normal duty. The Chief Justice has made a complaint. What is your problem again? So in solidarity with the Chief Justice, we are all not going to work. It means you people are technically, indirectly accepting say the Chief Justice is guilty of something. Because Mehmet Tihei said, okay, I'm to me so. Na me nyeya. It will not stop me from coming on my show. It will not stop my producers from working with me. Because f the facts we know on the ground is that nobody is guilty of anything. So it should not stop the workflow. No. Unless you say, Asamna Nipani Kato Kevin, so no, 
my team, you know, the ghost team, the underground has realized that Kevin is not even concentrating during the day's meeting. Kevin is saying he cannot show up on the show. Then you could see, so apart from saying, oh, Yari, then you could feel, say, no, maybe a semi cattle CEO, or you know, or Kevin, you know, Kevin is showing some signs, say, he's guilty. Until yes, you know, we are going to go out and say we are not working today in support of our boss. What has your boss done that you have to support him? Because your board knows the law. He decided to go to the police to report. Work should go on. So in solidarity, you know, today we paid these old men and women for doing nothing. I just wanted to have that information. CJ get COVID-19. <laughs> or you get COVID-21. COVID-21. Now, let's deal with the issue. Tomorrow... You and I expect to say lawyer Kwesi Efrifa will show up at where? He will show up at the General Legal Council. I ah, also see a Chief Justice case. Ah, you see Chief Justice Akwaje, $5 million. In the case now, Oje Dom Ekahono. For now, I think everybody has an idea of the case. Now, let us look at the case very well, technically, and let me tell you what is going to happen tomorrow. There are two things ah, is going to happen tomorrow. Now, there's a procedure when it comes to legal matters, it is very, very important to follow. And in the 2020 election petition, you know, people got so angry. People thought the chief justice is so, so, uh, uh, um, 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 I, I'm trying to find the right words. People thought the chief justice was so, uh, 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 was so biased in the case because the procedure wasn't followed through. The process wasn't followed through. And some people think that, especially when it comes to legal matters, you don't skip some of the procedure or some of the process. The process would definitely make the case at the end of the day, because when you start from one, you need to go to two, go to three. By the time you get to the bottom of the case, nobody will have any cause to complain about you skipping something. And it's now Supreme Court in 2020 election, no, you no, you no. It was a lot of things that they were not answered, all because of procedural uh, mishaps from the Supreme Court. The also we are not yet. i but no more careful for into the judgment to cry about judgment in a cleaner. People think that because you skipped procedure, no, it makes the judgment tainted. And it's not a to catch up and say. It is very important for us to go through the process. The process will show at the end of the day the truth. Because when you skip process, you never get to the truth. Now, this is what is going to happen tomorrow. Since, say, a year lawyer, no, will be called petition, general legal counsel, no, the procedure is this way. Say, will be petition or general legal counselor. What happens is, the general legal counsel writes to you the person who is the, uh, 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 your petition against, you know. So when somebody makes a case against you, Imrani Chere said, I was said general legal counsel, no, extra bro, said, Asimesi has made a case against you, a petition against you. What is your response? Now, the normal procedure, they said, when you get that letter from the general legal counsel, that same letter now, lawyer, Kwesi Efrifa, and Sakai, you know, the next thing you do is you write your response to the general legal counsel to that petition. So, lawyer Fifa did that, which was the right thing to do. Now, general legal counsel rules, you know, what the general legal counsel is supposed to do again is to send the response of lawyer Kwesi Fifa to the petitioner and tell the petitioner, say, the person you petitioned you know, against, you know, he has responded. And this is the response. What do you have to say? This is the procedure. What do you have to say to the response? So as we sit here, no, Anka or say Nana or J Domino, he has two weeks window to respond to lawyer a free first response to the general legal counsel. Ah, it's supposed to get to him. Now, as we speak, it's not two weeks yet. As we speak, the general legal counsel has not. Forwarded lawyer a free first response to Ojedom for Ojedom to respond because what happens is when lawyer a free far responds to the petition general legal counsel sent to him, ah, Ojedom de Mormona, when he sends a response back to the general legal counsel, the general legal counsel has to send a response to Ojedom, and Ojedom has two weeks window to respond. The reason why we are saying is that after Ojedom responds to a uh, lawyer a free first response, you know. The general legal counsel now sits 
and then analyze all the materials they have gotten. There's a specific reason for that. They look at the petition, petitioner's petition. They look at the petitioner's response to the responder's response. And then they look at it. Now, then they decide, say, is this case a foolish case we should throw out of the window? Or it's a case that we have found some evidence in there. Somebody needs to be charged, especially the, 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 the respondents, a lawyer, no? And until I'm about two weeks, no? Now, the issue here is they do that. So, my yes, sir, they will not get a charger. I'm going to be a lawyer and say umbra in front of them because the lawyer should be coming knowing why he has been charged and what he has been charged with. Lawyer, if I cannot get out from Kumasi and enter the General Legal Council without knowing what he has been charged. Because you remember the petition, an allegation against lawyer. And a lawyer responded here. Yeah. And he said, I'm a petitioner. No? And call petitioner. No? You have not heard the side of the petitioner after lawyer responded. Now, what is forcing the general legal counsel to say, say, Chiana Chi, they have skipped this and that a FIFA should be in front of the general legal counsel tomorrow. Because a FIFA can go to the general legal counsel tomorrow and he'll be charged with murder. Yeah. He can be charged with money laundering. A FIFA can be charged with anything. Going into the General Legal Council or in front of the General Legal Council, he does not have anything to hold on to to defend himself. So is it a trap the General Legal Council is setting for a FIFA? So follow me. So technically, you know, the General Legal Council has breached its own law. Ask yourself, what is in the rush what is the rush in getting a FIFA in front of General Legal Council now, now, now? Because the procedure has not been followed. You were supposed to send a free first response to the petitioner and give the petitioner a two weeks window to respond to that response. Now, you have not done that. Or JDOM has not received anything. Or JDOM or Tuano, Onim, what is happening at General Legal Council? But the General Legal Council is saying that they have scrapped that part. And that a FIFA should appear before them. Now, the moment you scrap that part, then you are scrapping the basis why you want a FIFA to be in front of you. Because it is only sticking to that part of the process. Because when you get all the materials, everybody's statement, that is when you decide, say, if the case is a prima facie, and now say, we see some substance in the case from a FIFA statement, there's a substance in. We can charge him with this, we can charge him with this. And you tell him that you are coming in front of us on this base. This is why we are calling you. Then a FIFA can prepare and come. As we speak, if a FIFA leaves Kumasi tomorrow and gets the general legal counsel and you tell him he has murdered somebody, on what charges, what basis, what evidence do you have to ask him that question? He needs a lawyer because he doesn't know why he's going to the general legal counsel. That is one. Now, there is a specific reason why the chief justice went to the police. In tier one Kostraj. People might not know, but let me tell you this. The chief justice chose to go to the CID for some specific reasons. And I'm going to say the chief, the, CID, the chief justice, he's very smart. He knows the law. He knows where all the loopholes are. He's, he, he's a chief justice of Ghana, trust me. He, he has all the ideas how to maneuver. I'm not saying the chief justice is guilty of anything. But I'm telling you his actions. And as usual, we are Ghanaians. We can always... Talk about the actions of people. It does not mean you are judging them. So I am going to speak on the actions of the chief justice, why he took that action. I am not saying the chief justice has taken five million. But as a fellow Ghanaian, a reasonable Ghanaian listening to me, after I am done, you will do your own deductions and then you sit back and analyze who is doing who and who has a different plan. Now, the reason why the chief justice went to the CID is very tricky. He knows what he's doing. Now, the CID has opened investigations into this matter, right? It means the CID has every right to invite every single individual who has been mentioned in this case. So the CID boss can say, a FIFA was mentioned. OG Dom has been mentioned. Chief Justice has been mentioned. Tomorrow morning, the CID boss can say that a FIFA is a person of interest from their investigations. So tomorrow... When a free lands at the airport at, in Accra, the CID can arrest him 
and say that you are under investigations. We have something you need to answer and you have to be whipped, whisked away. So the CID might pick a FIFA up tomorrow at the airport to prevent him from going to the General Legal Council to make a case to tell them to follow the procedure. Because if I were a FIFA, all that I would tell the General Legal Council is, have you re received a response from the petitioner? And did you sit to analyze the document? And what are you people charging me on? If I am a FIFA, that will be what I'll be taking to the General Legal Council. Now, the Chief Justice knows that because they have rushed the case, because they want to bring a FIFA in, and maybe, maybe a FIFA might say things he's not supposed to say. Maybe there'll be more explanation he has to do. He went to the CID. Now, if they don't pick a FIFA up at the airport, what they are going to do is, a FIFA is going to go to the General Legal Council, all right? A FIFA is going to make his case that, what are you charging me on? Because I responded to the petitioner's petition. You have to send it to the petitioner. You give him two weeks window to respond to that. And after that, you need to look at the materials we have all provided and then find what you find in to charge me on. Now, I have not received anything from you on what you are charging me on. So you cannot judge me here. You cannot sit here and just judge me. Before I make any statement, I will need a lawyer because I have not been charged with anything. You need to show me what you are charging me on. So a free fire can walk out of that meeting. And the second option for the CID is to wait in front of the General Legal Council door. When a free fire steps out, they will arrest him and tell him, we are from a criminal investigation department. A case has been lodged against you. Our investigations are ongoing. You are a person of interest. You have nothing to say. Anything you say will be used against you in the court of law. Follow us to the CID office. And that is how they will pick him up. So it, it's a simple plan. Because the General Legal Council has breached its own law. This is the Ghana we are living in. In the Ochinano, you will see how it plays out. And it's in a caption, you see, I say, the five million scandal might not happen tomorrow because at the end of the day, the General Legal Council itself has breached its own law. A free fire is going to General Legal Council without knowing what he's being charged on. Because the procedure says, take my response, send it to the petitioner. The petitioner has time to respond. Then you look at the materials. If there's private fashion, you throw it away. If there are credible evidence there for you to charge me on, send me the charges and let me come in. I am coming in without knowing what you are charging me. Now, a free file has been reported to the CID boss. Now, the police has opened investigation because the, the, the CJ reported him. He can be arrested at the airport and he can be arrested at the General Legal Council entrance or out when he's exiting. So, it's a very tricky situation unless you don't want to believe the truth. So as a Ghanaian listening to me today, you have to understand, say, the person who is even slowing this process down is the chief justice himself and the general legal counsel. The general legal counsel knows the right thing. They deliberately decided not to do the right thing. You know why? Because when they do the right thing, it will mean they need something substantial to charge lawyer Efrifa. What are you charging him? He has responded. The petitioner hasn't gotten his response yet. The petitioner needs two weeks to respond. Let's say it takes three days. Fine, you have the response. Now, if even you have the response from the petitioner, why don't you know why you are charging me? He needs to know what, why he's coming there. Now, he has no idea why he's coming there. What if he comes there and he say he has committed treason? What are you going to do? He has the right to say, I'm not going to make a statement until I see my lawyer. You need to prove beyond reasonable doubt with a fact, with a charge sheet for him to understand why he's there. So as we speak now, there's no case. A free fire can choose to walk in there and say, what are you charging me on? If you're not able to prove to me the process was duly followed, I don't deserve to stand in front of you. Until you prove to me that the steps, the procedure was duly followed, then I can make a statement. But as we speak, now they want to gag him. Now they want to do everything possible to make sure the he hearing does not come on because the chief justice through the IGP and the CID boss want to frustrate this guy to the point whereby he might not even be able to appear before the general legal counsel because the police will say, you are under investigation. We have opened a case. The police might even write to the general legal counsel like, hold on. We are in fact investigating this matter and you know what Ghana CID can do. When they say they are investigating, it's another four years. The four years is to protect 
the chief justice. Because if we are not done with the investigations, the legal counsel cannot sit. So it all ends up at this plan B. So listen to me. Tomorrow, let's keep our eyes on the ground. From the airport all the way to the general legal counsel, the CID, and let's look at the IGP. You, the IGP, you have to understand that this case is a very sensitive case. Every single individual involved in this case needs your protection. Do not, upon Buenu, you have been a foot soldier for too long. Ken Yabua, you, I know you. Don't dare. We want the truth to come out. If Free Fire is lying, we want to know. If OJ Dom is lying, we want to know. If the Chief Justice is guilty, we need to know. This is Ghana. The law should apply, irrespective of the person in front of it. So this is the plan tomorrow. We will be looking closely. We will be following closely. We will be giving you the update. I'll be here again tomorrow to let you know what actually transpires. We are not joking here. We are following this case to the core. We are trying to get the international media involved. It is possible because the biggest legal brain in our country has been involved or is alleged to be involved in a 5 million scandal. Very, very important. If this is not handled well, we will see our chief justice as a criminal. If this issue is not handled well, majority of the people around the world will think that Ghana, we have a CJ who is a criminal. We don't want that to happen. We want the truth to come out so that we can get to the bottom of this issue for who is not guilty is not guilty walks and who is guilty suffers the consequences. These are facts. If you're a Ghanaian and you're watching me, this is just the beginning. There are lots of things coming up. When I tell you there are a lot of things, there are a lot of things. There are a lot of audios, a lot of text messages, a lot of evidence that will be coming. It is very, very important. We take our time, analyze this issue from tomorrow and see what comes out. I've given you two scenarios and the possibility of all of them happening tomorrow is very high. You're still watching. With all due respect, extended version. I'll be back and take phone calls after this short break. All right, caller, how are you? Who is here? Hello, caller. Hello? Bonjour. Yes, sir. Go ahead, boss. Oui, oui, go. Kevin. Yeah, let's make it short today. Let's make it like 15 seconds, 15 seconds. Uh, there are a lot of people on the line, boss. Yeah. I'm sorry, they engage themselves in propaganda. Oh, Ghana media. Oh, come watch them. They be a Samada, not watch it. Thank you, Sako. Thank you very much. All right. Okay, that was Papa Sako. Thank you for submission. Hello, caller. Hello. Good evening, Papa. Good evening, sir. Uh, yeah, Lester. Lester. Let's talk. Thank you, Thank you, Lester. Thank you for 
the way you guys are making the shot for me. I really like it. Let's make it short uh, and then get a lot of people speaking too. Uh, hello? Hello, caller? Yes, sir. Thank you. Go ahead. Thank you, Rama One. Um, thank you very much. Hello, caller. Hello. Hello, Kevin. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Good evening, Kevin. Yes, sir. Good evening. Uh, Kevin, short form bypass. Hmm. Hmm. Kevin, I know the the accident to be a signal. Yeah, yeah, Andrew. I would call a friend. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh-huh. Now, you know, police commander, so you are Okay. Eric, see, so. No, you are the Then, mum, hospital, now, why are they? hospital, why are they? Driver could not have 40 years in him. What do you do? What's there? A why am I? If you want one shot more of the calm, was in the cold hospital. More who came? Oh, more was out in the black. Sopo hospital said a quaint new one to move a driver and call. Driver no, second driver no. Ah, okay. No, what's a quaint new one? More wine didn't want to call my hospital. More. All right, boss. I'm sure you didn't come out. All right, okay, okay. That, that, that we will quite if that's man. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, Kevin. Yes, sir. Good evening. Yeah, we may get it, sir. Yeah, Carlos, now you're my MP. So, no, that 40 percent in the crown of which you're being to you. A bit, you're a bit, yeah, majority. No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to take some time. Bina, we spend some time on his work. Uh, my my producers, they are working on it. He's really working. We need to have one day and talk about him. Yeah. Thank you very much. I'm sure also. All right, thank you. Um, hello. Do the do. The do, the do. Long time old. Do said that. Right now, the phone on. Phone no. Why a title? The main members of Grammy to one come. Do. As well, Miss Anna the Mucha, but the moon there, I'll pull up. 
And to me, you know, I'm not going to be serious. I'm not going to be serious. I'm not going to be serious. We would like to say we are new to Mukore, but I like to mutual our head and um for but no you one them a cast. I would that the more he knows some neck. Oh him wakum wam why you no offer. The one will coach would be just oh in your now the no he no ne no yen wall but oh no one flim. Oh, you know, come why and offer. No, what happened? It's that who no need them paying you know. You want to use under the bus, you know. Into no bad news station, a dog, but I'll be booed, you know. Now, my main chance in a day, my main chance in a day. Who's there now? A babbage in a video station. After day, a woman, then a lawyer, no, or can a judge, no one, some team, you are the show. Now, we would there with a lawyer, no, pay, pay, judge, no, safety, or cassa. Now, one or no court week, it has some, some who we don't know, who know who is seen out of us. I'm going to say, that's a bad heart because it has some of the same thing here. I don't stand for, I stand for himself. In the man, I said, no, look, I know, walk on why, 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 Hello. Hello, caller. Oh, Kevin. Yeah. Hello. As you can don't go new, the chairman Buni is. I don't get the same, but you go ahead. I'm showing you what you put in the Ajima Power. Ah, Kevin. Now, President Akufado Yiri, he is sicker from Pet and Sandy. One country and a safe last house on free home. Cast now, Moody Man on Tuno, on Fanny Namre. No, no, a Juma Ben or ya, one as Ascana or the or Sandy Bray. Enna, three, one more, one ya, no one can't say. Corner by more Gana for now, Mumbu Gana for no, except present a cofard with his Ascana in our family. Now, one can't say. Sikana, you kunu jinu to say go kipa, one masa bas na caro, san sush muno, saskano so or mon famra. Sa eh your friend say security and the omun chim bogana for who bano on katrenu kunu se on bogana for kumba. Ne our robes ne kuyam kwemwa muko pe or manwa brian a ta mu n then nipan e kun kum muti se maria mwa. Nra na no o se wonu o ko wa soja fa ko bubu amanfo nti o ko ho na tachiman aya kunkuma amanfo ade na tachiman de wonu de de na wonya frisa de ne ho banda boy na aye bonu tu a wo wie ne school fa e bonu tu o kunu no wonu so no ade na wonko sa abusi afo no na wonu ani former mp ni driver ti mi bo bi tu go e registration tam no wonu so no de interest na wo wo sa de ne President Akufado ni Bomia, ya huo mo papa. U President Akufado ni Bomia, mo sorry u Bomia nde usi network network huwa juma na u ba ya na ukatira sa economy na u dia u ya zaya u ba fati economy economy na aku na nde dollar e jana nde jodi phone ni na juma uku ane panya bidi ndi nde u Bomia nde u u eni mnyama u ba katira sa u fixa bi nde agoglosi ana huwa what what kind of semi? Um, Ube si toilet ya mamu. I don't go. What kind of semi? Um, thank you. My yeah. main video bincha mu. My main chacha jamu bincha mu quick. Na yenko yini why, Mister Wa? Um, oh. thank you. I don't go. Um, let's. I, I don't want to semi about. And the Baumia say he has done something. I will say a class has some way. Now Baumia say uh, uh, Baumia to launch Ghana dot gov today. Obwa, this wasn't started by Baumia. We need to clarify this. This Ghana.gov asemia baumia se or no ena akofa ba ABC Ghana dan obwa. The Ghana.gov idea we know it was there. It was the NDC administration that started here. No, we need to clarify this. I don't go to the Majuna Basso. Baumia and the Wako Jina also were launching Ghana.org. No, it is a lie. You know why? Because Ghana.org, no, a yeah, NDC are buying and there are evidence there. Everyone can go and check. 
the NDC government led by Mahama, and what they did was they had Ghana.gov. All the properties about Omeka say ended their lunch, you know, it is doing, you know. And the same thing, they have not changed anything. In fact, sad, you know, about to say, yeah, Ghana, www.ghana.gov.gh, you know, say when you go on your browser, CR, just go put in www.eservice.gov.gh. Eservice.gov.gh. www. Eservice. E S E R V I C E S. Gov.gh. That was the original domain. NDC are buying. John Mahama are buying. Omu created this platform and he was doing the same job. Almost Omu Baba. What Baumia did. And the same thing or any GPS, no, or the Google be or the GPS is a lie. What Baumia did is they went to buy a new domain. And now I'm changing it, you know. Now, so person who said Baumia is a liar. This is what you have to do. Go on the internet, go on your, in your browser, and go put in www.eservices.gov.gh. What you will see, you no, know, anyway, this is what you will see. When you go there and you put in www.eservices.gov.gh now. This is what will come up. This is what will come up and it will redirect you to Baumia DNA also will be in there because the original domain you know, and as the original website, you know, the moment you try to change the domain, buy a new one, you know, it takes a little bit of time for that domain you know, to be sending um, the new one you know, feed because the original domain there, yeah, the www.services. and then the end is and then they had the mother domain. Right now, I'm going to create a new site. And I'm going to a new domain. And I'm catch a Ghana for said they have created a new platform. A digitization of what is a lie. And then when they were launching the thing today, you no, know, the MC at the event, you no, know, ah, or cast out propaganda no one am going to say The MC even made a mistake. Now not for me. And he quickly changed his mouth and said, Oh. And then let's play it. Let's see MC that's some more canal and how you know say they are lying because if we launch something new, you will never make that statement. It is sad that I'm say Baumia launched um, a new D and D Baumia to launch Ghana.gov today is a lie. It was built by the NDC government. It was built by the NDC administration. It has been there, and the original website you know, was www eservices.gov.gh when you put that in it will take you to e-services because the e-services no was there before this new domain the domain no be working say it will take time because a who is say and a computer who say that is the original website so it will take time for the original website to recognize the new one i create when you send when you put in this website address now that is what you see first before it directs you to so it's a lie. Now listen to the MC at the event and you see their lies. Baumia is a liar. GPS knew the same thing. He lied. He lies about everything. The guy is a bloody liar. Every time he gets an opportunity, this is what happened at the event. Listen to the announcer. And announcer now on This this government is a government of foolish men and women. They think we are fools, eh? Yes, please. And so it will be a countdown from 10 to 1, where His Excellency the Vice President will witness the unveil of the new logo, of the logo, I beg your pardon, for of the new logo, of the logo, I beg your pardon, for the witness the unveil of the new logo, of the logo, I beg your pardon, for the Ghana.gov. Witness the unveil of the new logo, of the logo, I beg your pardon, for the Ghana.gov, where His Excellency the Vice President will witness the unveil of the new logo, of the logo, I beg your pardon, for the Ghana.gov, of the new logo, of the logo, I beg your pardon, for the Ghana.gov. If this, they are talking about, is a totally new project Baumia started, why will a government official who is an MC say there, say that of a new logo. It is not a new logo. They know there was a logo before this. 
they know the original site is this. And this was created by the NDC. Baumia just came to change the logo and then bought a new domain and now telling Ghanaians that he is the alpha and omega. He has created a new platform. He's a liar. They should come out and say, say, this is a lie. They should come out and say, say, this is a lie because they knew there was an original logo. They are creating a new logo for the site. They are creating a new domain for the site. But when you put in this www.eservices.gov.gh, it directs you here. And this is the original one. Now they have bought a new domain. Baumia is a liar. This government is a lying government. They have no idea. Akronfongwa, Baumia is a thief. And these are there. Tomorrow, I want them to come out and say, there was nothing like the e-services that they don't have. They know so it was there. And it's not quickly. They went to change the domain. This conversation, we will come back to it. But my person who said, Baumia Boa, Baumia has not launched any new thing. Baumia is a liar. He always sniffs on what the NDC started. He changes names. He puts a new tag and says it is his. He doesn't know anything. This guy was at Bank of Ghana. Mukobu's on the record. Oh. He was just a deputy Bank of Ghana governor. Onim Bibia. The NPP is a propaganda party. It is a populist party. They steal things from people. Genuine ideas. And then they make people believe say, they actually have that original. They don't. A new logo. Oh, a, a, a logo. I beg your pardon. A, a new logo. Oh, a logo. I beg your pardon. The foolishness of these concepts. I'm going to say, Jimmy, to the point. It's a, yeah, the way we come out with me, I tie to campaign. Yeah, you're trying to me. We say we will fact check these people every single day. In Kwasi, we will fact check it every single day. But we will not get a chance again. You have a mouth in space for him and his makeup artist to come and lie. Up a president, TG. And they cannot cry. Now, on to me, find Trump be the president. Jimmy, yo. That is it. Let me pick one or two calls and then end today's show. Hello, caller. Hello. Yeah, this is Kevin. Yeah, go ahead, boss. Yeah, how are you doing? I'm good. Uh, Mr. Kevin, you are from Mao, Kwajinji. Now, if you are Oya Magana, you are from so, and you are from Oya Magana. Uh, okay, simply about um, uh, um, the Adjunia Diagro, um, the Adjunia Diagro. Oh, as one was here from as one to Kumasa to us, um, the Adjunia Diagro. Even, even doctors, doctors, um, uh, confronting doctors. Oh, who was to say a minute? Doctor, now, oh, no, or better, the private hospital who will be an alcohol. Your friend in Tunchai, Baumia, can I say, this guy, that foolish guy, MP. You're back as I am. Yes, that boy. Yeah, uh, your friend, this guy, uh, stick out. Oh, you know, Muchi, 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 a being for you, a free in your office. I am empty because I am. Or catch it, say, send the Nanado and any list mistake. Why in the boar, my empty about power? So we say, or by where we know more every digger or so. Then you give me a crack. You give me a crack. Maybe some cast as a yeah, 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 yeah. From a prim all right boss thank you very much okay um hello all right yeah jimmy kakra said they be amican yeah jimmy now momo yes i know omu who be bida both mpp and nd's normal parliament they've not seen anything before a hundred thousand come back as a they have not seen anything before now, or MP now, or two parliament, you hundred thousand dollars. And uncle, your friend would a cry. I catch it. So, um, brand if you own the chrome, me, a man for some of the shift you're up on your hundred thousand. No, on this can go to car and come back to that class. I mean, problem, me pay scar, me see. Uncle NPP for one NDC for no more parliament, you know, almost constituency one. Come at TBB or Masumo. Uncle, I'm about to cry. Okay, because I'm just going to say, Menji, Moon, you want to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, if in the constituency na motoma no no on fa nsuo mbaaye on fa light mbaaye munya bibia o mabrabo you people are not developing nothing 
ena moto wano tinka eji hundred thousand dollars o kotoka. Na anko wati se bibia wosu wani kuro buwa. Anko weka chiro mo se mimpe, mimpe skano. Because in konforo mo de bebae ni se ma mimfa minsa nke skano. Ba ye jimi, ya tiha. Oh, ya mpidi ye ni mune, ya nina kwa sore. Mu jimi isa, omu de beye ye, nomu de omomba betina bro chila kwa sku. Namu de mu kwa siyate gana. Mo kache wase nyami beye. Oje se nyanko pa obuwa nkwa siyafuo. Nyanko pa obuwa nyansa fuwa oma buwa so oma buwa mu inti no buwa america no inti no buwa uk no nyanko pon buwa germany no obuwa e nyansa fuwa oma yama ajiso oma buwa mu o nyanko pon buwa kwa siyampenyi inti udo kwa siyampenyi ibe tina waka sa minka sa minka se e yame pati inti ya ube bre wase fuwa be bre mo ba yam kwa siyafuwa sa god only helps those who are ready to help themselves and those who are wise and intelligent and inti na america fuwa kwa suno because they are not god but god sees in them say they want to work hard they want to do something he helps them Na mbude mungkwa siye gugana ti waka chile mbi se Mye nye shi, ye nka se Mpi ni atu abama nono Onko onko jika hundred thousand dollars no ndi Na ye ni ye ntia sixty percent Na forty percent ukwa old tia Na uti constituency wo Mpi ni fiye siwo Ni office siwo Mwon sende singla wabi ama no Eno tia kira ye di ma Eno obo ni shuwo mu Eno mbude mu jimi guwe kura So mwone mwano mwano siyo Na wabe kwa chile mbi se nye mbe ye Uyo chin Weja Uhinim Go ahead Wana mwble o. Go ahead, kola. Ye ni yanko bebi ya o. Ye nko bebi ya. Ye jinem. Ye jinem until the writing is done. Until se yabedu point bi ya. Ye ni yabedu se. Ah, afedi ya nyoma tuto ye no. Ni ye jaye kasa. But, se, impenifo ye ya mwwe. Yabedu kamo so se ninji. Me se. Until we see se. Ni pebi ifa ajini wa gana. E jimi fobi astate kasa nyansem. Until se yabedu se. Ni pebi ya mwomu tumi no astate akte. On our behalf to make us feel better, we will not stop talking. We will talk. You better come with us and punch in every day. We will pull a stick and we will go after you people. My boy, damn. Good boy, foot. Oh, ha, ha, ni hi. Yes, yeah, you know who. You know, my boy, you know who. With Jimmy, you know. Go ahead. Hello. I'm in show. I'm in show. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> thank, you. thank you very much, but that's it. I think one thing got me jam and so any brabo. I'm off what the mum Adam from a nose, Adam Mamma, no so a TV, no so. Hey, Jack, me here fight, so me here fight the power, man, no so power, panya. All right, hello. Yeah, 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 Okay, uh, is MC Jimmy Catala. Okay, yeah. I can't you. I don't know who said any part. Yeah. I can't I say, Oh, I could say, I say, I I say, I I I I I no hobby. no Catch it or Hino, Pasia Penny in the 
right thank you very much um oh oh sorry i thought we were through here sorry 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 um Uh, boss, we may hit uh, my Joshua watch a papa, 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 papa. We have some corner, we're about to Hello, 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 yeah, hello, boss. Boss, my Joshua watch a papa, papa. Now, last time, no buyer, no, over my green book list, no, and my just say, now I'm on for TSC. Ah, me patch on my list, and I'm on for here, I'm on list, no, you, Marty. Munia de edika ma membo wa abaso. Bila se. Yanko po chira o nyi poko siye. En tu un kwa mae. Amen. Ne debi. A un sa membo a yopa. Ne le mae gana. En kone ni. Ne nani ya kebi unin bibi. Hmm. Kebi ntela. Me wa hamiti yo. De. 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 Me wa kan. Me ba be liski. Green book nun. Nye na ma. Ba bi bi asu wa wanchi. Yeah. Ya aswa wanti ni nani se mi mi papa mi ni nuti mi papa pini ni nuno utere ni dana sana waba mi dana mafu bitere tano mau kuyi kesi bei four times kesi numa polisi fuabo unkrofonu di polisi fano antu ana mwa amami ni ya Kevin ese omaku kumi papa no na numandi kwa wanti nde nde na omali ni fano nukurama ama ya kusini ye ye dise ebu ma ama ma kule ni mwana Kevin Taylor report na ukoye na oye report na mo mo receipt bi da hose ukoye report upoli mo bi bi da ho komenda ni mihi ana pa 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 evidence bi bi ya ho me pa cho me au du faila me amefro semo au number no me amefro waji Commander, you better get in. You better get You better date. You better report. You know, me fro. Me am one number. Don't worry. Last me save one number now. Why? Yo, the same be listed. Green book. Let's the green book more. Be alone. Be anti. Green book. Are you ready? If you are ready, listen to the green book. Yes, I'm ready. Kevin Taylor. Yes, me. The search has received. Bunu a halfo. Yes, he fourteen nest in training. Bunu a halfo. Yes, it's five polyclinics. Bunu and Hafu. Yes, it's 14 e blocks. Bunu and Hafu. Yes, it's Doma Central Market. Bunu and Hafu. Yes, it's in Suo Edima Bukum for Bunu and Hafu. Yes, it's in Soko District Hospital. Bunu and Hafu. Yes, it's Tachuma Student Hospital. Yes, it's Tachuma Division. Yes, it's Tachuma Administration Block. Yes, it's Wanchi Jubilee Park. Yes, he won Chi Court. Yes, he won Chi Islamic Training College. Yes, he knew secondary school and knew your e-blog. I won Chi Inchra. Inchra knew, yes, he two storing buildings, 12 teachers' quarters in the Dimawamu. Minya, yes, he won Chi secondary school. Yes, he administration block. Yes, he stressed the Daniel Wall, Master's Quarters, Edimawamu. Won Chi is the Kama Senior High School. Yes, he guest dormitory. Yes, he storing building. I had 12 finished class in Dimawamu. Yes, he two. Master's quarters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the mamu, so in mamu, can you see computer room? At the car, we see three classes. At the car, we see at the car, we have to have to be there. We are not going to be too hot. We are going to have to be there. We are going to have to be there. We are going to have to be there. Upper West, yes, the early mom, secondary school. Upper West, yes, the war regional hospital. Upper West, yes, the Yamawa Munsu, Yamawa Mun Labri, Kakraka, the whole West Africa, the Labra, the Sumba, the Wawa. Yanko Upper East, Upper East, Bongo Bolga Road, yeah, yeah. Yes, the Bolga Tanga Central Market. Yes, the Bolga Tanga Regional Hospital. Yanko Northern Region, Northern Region. Yes, Damanko Kupe Tamar Road, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kupe Cement Factory, President Mahama. Yes, Tamale Teaching Hospital, Phase One, Phase Two. Yes, Tamale International Airport. Yes, Tamale Central Market. Yanko Nuntuho, Yanko Asante Region. Yes. Afari Hospital, Asante Region. Fomina Hospital, Asante Region. Kumau District Hospital, Asante Region. Tapa District Hospital, Asante Region. Munya, Sawia District Hospital, Asante Region. Kumasi Central Market. Kumasi Military, Kumasi Military.
Yo hospital. Yes, Minya and Wachi, yes, Kumasi two factory, Kumasi International Airport, phase one, phase two. Minya and Wachi as a Wachi Central Market, Tafu Central Market, Yonko Vota region. Vota region. Yes, ho airport, ho university campus, ho central market. Minya, yes, two, yes, fourteen e blocks, Edima Vota region. Yo, we are near Mamu two district hospital, Yonko Central region. Central region, Commander Sugar Factory. Central region, Kotakoba Market. Central region, Minya. Yamamu Kekos for Stadium. Central region, Kasua Interchange. Central region, Yamamu 14 E Block. Minya, Central region, Asphalt. Yenema Central region, Wunu Bibi Afran, Asphalt. Minya, Yanko Western region. Yasi Atuabu Gas. Takradi Abon. Koko Roots. Ayaye. Koko hospitals are President Mahama, any schools are President Mahama, Wasi, Ayaditum, Takwadi Abo, Yabaymu, Ayan Ye, Emma Biabedi Mahama, Adensia, Yembra Geta Akra, it's a rich hospital, 617 beds, medical hospital, Yasi, Munia, and Wasi, Yasi, and Wachi, Munia. Yasi Bank of Ghana Hospital. And what Yasi Circle Interchange. Yasi Pokwasi Interchange. Obichabilanti Interchange. Yenina President Mahama. Bukuma Sports Stadium. President Mahama. Terminal 3. President Mahama. Asiguli. T1, T2, T3. President Mahama. Tama Power Plant. President Mahama. Ameri Power Bus. President Mahama. Car Power. President Mahama. Tama Motowi, President Mahama, Tama Abon, Yabaimu, Minya, Yadi Senkofa, Edika, Minya, Yabe Wiokuran, one hundred and twenty three community day school, MPP by or Mabo Pusia, two hundred and two hundred billion, Minya one decent fatty, four one nine. You did eighteen months, or Musi Ombesi, three hundred and fifty senior high school, four one nine, or Musi Omudi Zong Government Fund, Beba, four one nine. Minya Kevin Taylor, Omukate um, say eighty four hospital, you do four years, four one nine. Minya Omukate um, say one million per consideration, four one nine. One village, one dam, four one nine. Yo, a bank we at my say what the two point eight million Ghana city, what the Afro Wim, Eddie Dora Koji Busia, one hundred and seventy million euro, we are a dead one debt, one hundred and seventy billion dollars, no da Kotuaka, Koji Busia no Kotuaka, we are no Akate and your salary, and money, we are no Madre de Kate say allowance. And what you have been pension of Bobo your four hundred at Matuako Borkina. I've been with pension of Caterpillar and Atabai, Atuako Avricus. I've been with pension of Motobak, seven hundred and fifty. Atu Ako Mali. I've been with pension of Premier's Fuel, two hundred and fifty tanks. I don't know, Farma Ako. I've been with pension of PD, PP, Youth Authority. I see, Minia, Kevin. Um, number we a Mumu number, Mabwa. Ah. I will send you a hundred dollars. That is around five hundred and fifty Ghana cities. Okay, 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 Kevin. We dey a new moment number. We will empty a new moment number. Yeah, my fro, my fro number we so. Now, we the new number number me. Ochina, you are guaranteed hundred dollars, which is like five hundred fifty Ghana cities. The I can keep it. Time is a papa do I best fro. I'm all the day I can ask. So thank you very much, boss. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm sure I'm so. All right, hello caller. Hello. This 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 impressive, right? Very very impressive. And then one day I will invite him on the show and I'll talk to him because it is very important to say nyoma say you know we all get to know. Uh, I said five hundred dollars near five hundred sixty seven Ghana cities. Tomorrow it will hit your Momo account. After the show, I will give him a call and he'll give me the original number and I will personally send that money to him. It's very, very important. All right, family. Thank you very much. Okay, let, let me pick uh, 717, 1117. Um, hello, caller. Hello. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Yeah, Kevin. Uh, I'm going to echo. I'm going to echo. Yeah. At the open day, the inquiring, the army officers over there, some work on the committee, they no sign the Edrawan. Yes, they don't 
cannot sign a United Nations Convention mm-hmm. that in time of war or, uh, uh, or in war or off war, civilians never to soldiers stand against civilians. Yeah. And they go in using live bullets. And this guy but, that had the... But haven't you realized, haven't you realized, sir? Uh, I, I mean, the whole world is listening and how do you think the world sees the soldiers in Ghana? Murder? Yeah. But how do you, well, haven't you realized one thing? Since the Kufuadu took over, the soldiers are more in town than anything else. Every single thing is soldiers. But no, you know no, what I'm no, just here. There was another question. There, there was another question they asked him as well. Did you have ambulances to be present when the people were shot? You did not the United Nations Convention. What kind of training do they, do they have in Ghana? I just don't understand. What kind of training? And Train the convention, a Geneva convention, and you behave this way, take you to, how do you call it, uh, United Nations Commission. What kind of useless soldiers are these? I'm sorry, but please, please, look, the whole world is listening, and sometimes these soldiers, when they come, they should be embarrassed to this magnitude. Let's have decent, honorary, how do you call it, people who have joined the army. To defend Ghana, not this kind of useless whatever it is. Uti yejuma na, every person uti yejuma. No, he said, "We do, we 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 it's not easy when you when you sit. So who are fan? I say you are only able to travel home. It is so disheartening. Like you know how it is here. Hello, caller. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum, my friend. Kevin, the person who is sending me the video. Hmm. Na Ghana for you na yechi ya jine koho. Kujong upon kuma kachere. Hmm. Asen e yeba me chi ya sam manis kanu. Wanda si yechi abuka u. Si e ni yechi ya. Sano kan eh? Na se be tia o kan ni 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 Hello. <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> Hello, maybe Lizzie. With Lizzie. All right. Uh huh. Kevin, Oshé, Oshé, eh, Kennedy, Japan. Send our old treaty multimedia. Na. They deserve it. Oh yeah. Because in some of the countries, they go for money and they twist stories, mm. and they met at Gabi's house for what? Naomi, yes, eh, Erastus. Oh yeah. I wish to say yes, I'm known faces to be. My member one show. I wish there was Ivan Mensa. It was ah, my member my list. No, me who's out there nice, but we Christo di. Me me nye Christo di. Aye. Kevin Rusha. And some lucky guy. No, I'm a Filipino. It means they break them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, Kennedy, Kennedy, some lucky guy. My post month and one. It gives a lot of uh, information and how they are running and their way for me. You are doing very well. Thank you very much. Good evening. All right. Oh, thank, thank you. you. All right. Ah, uh, me say ah, on beso me body we Christo ni do do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ni ya tra Christo. Ah, Christo ni ani eh. Christo or we ya kumem. Ah, Saint Paul's Anglican. Oh no, what Tim? Me na money we say I'm Sam Jonah the Kwa sorry back. Ah, Obuasi Central Anglican. Ah, Sam Jonah I'm not meet you anymore because Sam Jonah I'm me na me your boy pa. Ah, na me popi so war men's fellowship. 
and another subjoin a more men's fellowship. Or more no muti nim na any teacher. I say any Queens boys. Ah, collection time do I one city. Any Queens boys. Subjoin a mobile sorry ah. I nim city near the arena. We be anko. Any subjoin a bar sorry. What I want to say. We do a chairman. Subjoin a chairman. What I want to say. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Mister Subjoin a good evening. I Mister Subjoin a bar sorry ah. Saint Paul's Dallas or Boise Central. I oti nim. Uzi kaswa. We be to be training nim. We nim. Hello. Go ahead, boss. All right, boss. My trust, trust for land. Ah, because every Eastern region, the crew, I'm particular. So, a friend, a chairman, try. Okay. Yeah. And I was in media. Oh, yeah. I'm sure, man. So, yeah, of course, Kevin. Yeah, I'm sure, Kevin. The big, of course, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Remove him. Me present me friend. I can be more details about it, but. My friend wanna me now. Okay. Kevin, uh, if a uh, small scale mining, uh, can I say you wish to me? Yeah. Uh, of course, you are. Kevin. <coughs> yeah. Kevin, why did you say I'm only no small scale mining? Now, Kevin, I'm also not with you, but until tonight, for now, I'm only just man and casano. Kevin, I'm only so kind. I'm only good as we go on. I'm only. It's a community mining on me on moon is and your community mining, right? No. More pictures and videos or you say Kevin, me me a me 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 fees kumu e buy e ente inti no me. Kachira Obramo, Kachira Obramo, say Kachira Obramo. Oni amon kasa, amon mo videos ne pictures a ngofoni e juma unri money a dey no. O number no, o last number e ten me boy. O last number e ten. Yeah. Me an kasa me fro, me an kasa me fro. Uh, na me no wedding komo video bi amon ne pictures bi ano je ne fa send me. Me fro na machro me bi also send back. Why? We didn't the same. Matthew. May frame Moro. Moro, all right. Don't worry. Mem, mem kadi akano. O number ni last number ten. Me who number na? Me fro back. Why? Mema ubi be fro. Anasa mema kasa me fro. Why? All right. Thank you very much. Ubi o Ghana be fro. Ubi o Ghana no be fro. Ubi o Ghana onen a be fro. Why? Okay. All right. Mena si. Kevin. Yeah. Eh, I most TV super fan. Both vision better me niya mo. Most TV Miami climbi niya. Multi TV no. Mema obiso Afro or Ghana at show hey. Sibia obi to my searching in your multi TV no so. Why? Okay. All right. Thank you, boss. Okay. Um, good. Um, okay, I have five more minutes to end today's show. Uh, just five minutes. Uh, yes, yes, I can pick one or two calls. Uh, now me end the show. Hello, caller. Hello. Yes. Hi. Good evening. Yeah, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Pacho, go ahead. Pacho, I say it's you. Yeah. Pacho, it's something. Okay. Hi. Yeah, it's you, Casa. Yeah. I'm Pacho. Yeah, I'm Pacho. I'm Pacho. I'm Pacho. Oh, Light, I say, oh, Ghana, is it street? Oh, so bad. I, I think we all get his point where he's coming from. The lines are terrible. Uh, let me use um, about five minutes to clear this. Ghana for Amutimi. And I know my producer will cut this piece. Ghana for Amutimi. It is very important. 
se ye beti ase se sika na ye de koma these council of elders any mps or parliament 100,000 dollars no 100,000 dollars no the bagana schema e bit my nyuma be bri am a constituency be a now so wo constituency na se wo tie me wo constituency wo mp no mon ka mo humbom na mon tro letter na mon fan send the mp ni se se open asum dia man in jesus kanu on kan chire kufu adu aban se de mu hie nie mon tro ngu paper so na sa paper no mon fan send ye na ye read ma mp nenti na se open ho asem ko je sa 100000 dollars na mo ni wo bi ka se ono so wo fie wo mukuru mu ho owo investment wo ho obanyansa fo ye bu ni be ye kan asem from o china no we will be taking letters from constituencies to read to specific N- N- mps both npp and ndc so we are you you can go on our website or on our page ewo Facebook or oh, um uh, Facebook with all due respect. Yet the ad no better wo. Ye better o baby as send the email no ko. Much your letter ni we are. Ni pa be ye ten. M for amun san shas ye. Mun tre baby amu wo. Constituency amu your letter de free. Mun bo mu M P ni di wum. Nyama amu yian wo constituency wano. Mun tre o letter nim. O china echo ye be kai constituency bi a letter actually ni M P. A mo catch M P ni se. On the dear or your bear ma on your hundred thousand dollars look at a car and fan home. Now muntia sixty per cent no in a loan no mona muntia sixty per cent no mon pet loan mon peso or bejiske bia montra letter and mamma MP. Yet the email address in the beto with all due respect page so Facebook. Obia or pese gather your friends and write it. There is a specific reason to me as I yet the MP in the picture better so. You best send it some message in my MP, no? You will be cut to pieces in your every constituency. Constituency be answered by candidate. The MP will get it. Because of more platforms. Now, MP, I'll say on the day. A person, of course, no, a hundred thousand dollars, no? Money will be can. And the action you will take in the day, moon can. Now, moon in the day, you have to tell the MP not to take the hundred thousand dollars. What you are saying is, say, Sir, hundred thousand dollars. I buy from Koto Yefum. Yeah, 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 yeah. We need water. The amount here no crown. We want to into after the show. No, you go on our Facebook page, Loud Silence. A Facebook page with all due respect page. No, yeah, the yeah the email address. Ah, mobile emaili. Sir, let ano abaho enkoho. Into Ochina no, you best start here reading constituency be a MP and the constituency ni. Di and the constituency can you hear ni part tena? Amo di amo nsabe shasi e o email nim. Amo phone number oho. Ah, you bet too much. I say we move your constituency we no much throw away. Amo say amo pe loan no a oko jeno. Car no amo pe. No constituency needs a hundred thousand dollar car for their MP. Obi am pe. Amo be chire di amo pe. E o letter nim. You be reading constituency be a die. So this is the announcement I just got from the producers. They are preparing it. They will put the email on the on the page. They will put it on the website. Oko www.loudsilencenews.com. You will see the poster there. And you see a website. I hold a news in the www.loudsilencenews.com. I hold so qua. You will get that information. But don't you know you're the better Facebook. So start gathering your friends from the constituency level. Let all of you guys sit down. You hear a long letter, be a one page letter. One page letter. Ten people signature, and it will be directed to your MP. You're in the picture, be come. May you show no, make kind of be a dear. Now, my chair, the mope, at the current year, mamma, MP no, and just a hundred thousand dollars. No, now, sir, or your bear man, or your bar, on your hundred thousand dollars. No, now, mobet chreno, say, no, co, yeah, jay, muna more constituency war. Ebia, the mobe, the mamma, the mode bear, no, so just ask, and a mamma, mode a monchre. Say you don't need the money. Ochina, you best start a project way. Minim say Ochina, you best start a reading letters nibi. Yeah, the one MP picture betua ni a kind letter na chiro no. You best cut it on social media platforms. Every MP you best say one test has some way no. Why are you not say? Or be so dimu bone. Into most more right. Say the awesome way no be ye. This show is with all due respect extended version. My name is Kevin Ekobedi Taylor. Tomorrow we will meet here to discuss Ghana. It's been a wonderful trip.
Ochina yanshe the ABC lawyer um Kwesi Efifa is going to legal um general legal counsel. Yanshe the ABC and the Yakasa Wakasa. I thank you for spending all these times with me. I really appreciate your time. Thank you to our Patreon donors. Have a wonderful night. My name is Kevin Taylor. My producers are the Ghost Team. Be good. Tomorrow we will meet. July to 1st August 2021, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. daily, we will be at the Homewood Suites by Hilton, Nipson Common Place, Woodbridge, Virginia. You can reach us on 706-572-6234. Again, 706-572-6234. Joe Bank House in Fair 2021, investing to secure your dream home from the motherland, Ghana. See you there.
they are going to turn the whole country upside down. One, one by one. Well, how will you do it? Ah, well, we will die and they will bury us. They are going to turn the whole country upside down. One, one by one. Well, how will you do it? Ah, well, we will die and they will bury us. They are going to turn the whole country upside down. One, one by one. Well, how will you do it? Ah, well, we will die and they will bury us. Oh, nice. Eh, we know, I don't know, that's it. Yeah, hello. So, can you can come? Guys! Now, if you, if, if you not can come out, you have to tell me. And so, can you can come? Okay, I get stranger here, so... Sorry. I'm not a stranger. Yeah, sorry. So I can't make it. Oh, nice. Eh, uh, we know. I don't know. That's it. Yeah, hello. So can you can come? Guys. Now, if you, if, if you not can come out, you have to tell me. And so can you can come? Trump baby okay and you're bidding me. Then I did to obey a Tobam Warrior University. A Bemosi would die. Nansa Ben a watch woman. It's a bomb book last bomb. Tell me who, tell 
Tell me, me, tell me, you be the country. Fix yourself. I get what I plenty, we move be thirsty. What I plenty, we move be thirsty. And we get to go to plenty cocoa. But we still the borrow, borrow, they go to get a job, it be whom you know. We live like crafts in a barrow. Shayo, Rupa, Beshi, and Lo. Hey, we say fix the country. about the coffers and each man living for himself we say fix the country they say fix yourself aye, aye, aye. they say fix the country we say fix yourself now 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 who be the country you be the country me be the country fix yourself well i agree 